past is not lost. The past lives inside us. Encoded in the double helix are the experiences of our ancestors. After three decades of research, our engineers have forged the cutting edge of biotechnological interfaces. We have unlocked the lives of our forebears. We have opened a window into the past. This is Total Immersion Entertainment. With the press of a button, you will experience the most pivotal moments in history. All from the comfort of home. Welcome to Helix. Where the past is your playground. All right, can you hear me? I'm just doing a quick mic test. Because, yeah, after hearing what people have been saying, um, and some feedback, some positive feedback, I decided to, yeah. And because you guys are just so nice and so cool, I thought, you know what? Let's try this out. Let's, uh, yeah, let's uh, talk. <laughs> let's actually commentate, at least at times, and temporarily. I don't know if I'll be doing this for, like, forever, but, you know. Okay, good. As long as I'm not too loud or too quiet, because I, I want there to be a nice balance, you see. Now, <laughs> well, guys, welcome. This is Rogue here, as you may know by the fucking display on your Twitch feed. <laughs> you don't need me to tell you that. But, um, welcome, if you're tuning in, or if you're watching this as a VOD. Um, I just want to very quickly, very briefly, very briefly, rant about this. Now... <laughs> Let me just... No, it's it's in my face right now. I have to say it. I have to say it. Um, when AC Unity came out, um, one thing... One reason why I fucking hated Unity was this. This shit. This shit right here. I'm sorry, but I can't contain it. Like, do you understand where I'm coming from? Oh my god. Like, for example, you know, Xiao Jun here, deserving of her own AAA game, is, is locked. You know, Haytham... I don't know why he's called an eagle. He's not, an eagle doesn't represent him, but whatever. Haytham. Ets, Ezio, he's already had f tons of fucking games. Edward, he's he's okay. Like, all these interesting characters. And Connor. Don't even get me started on Connor. Altair. Like, Shaojin. Um, why can't we play these? <laughs> it's such a fucking tease. I know it's probably there because it's the whole Absurgo thing. But it was a bit of a tease. I'm sorry. It just really got to me. I'll just briefly say that. As we start this. Um, yeah, I'll be going quiet again for a bit. For the intro at least. Because I, I really, really, really do like the intro of this game a lot. But yeah, let's let's get right into it. I just wanted to quickly say that I have issues with this fucking screen right here. <laughs> That's all. Alright, enjoy guys. I'll be back in a bit and responding in a different way from now on, I suppose. Last of the Heroic Knights Templar. Jacques de Molay was a man of principle, a towering intellect, betrayed by those he trusted. In this episode of Fallen Heroes, experience Jacques de Molay's final tragic hours through the eyes of one of his closest friends and advisors. By the way, Panther, we discussed this series called Nightfall. Um, it's one of my favorite um, Netflix shows, and... Yeah, he, Jack de Molay was actually a character in, in that series. The, um, yeah, last of the master of the Knights Templar. Did I say that properly? Last of the Grand Templar Masters. Yeah. He was a character in that series, and I thought it was fucking sick, because I was like, holy shit, that's from Unity, the opening. So, they're recounting a true story, or at least one that sh might be a true story, as far as we know, but it was really cool to see that parallel between that and the Netflix show, because that's one of my favourite Netflix shows out. It's really cool.
Who's there? A friend of the temple. Floarak. The council's message was absolute. You're not welcome here. I must speak with the Grand Master. He's in session. They all are. Another day, perhaps. King Philip disagrees. Damn you, man. Why you're not rotting in a cell at this moment, I cannot fathom. Betrayed! Draw your sword, men! Defend the temple! Not you, brother. I have a different task for you. Come with me. King Philip's moving faster than we expected. Mm -hmm. Another hand is at work here. The Pope? The assassins. Assassins? I thought the Mongol Khans broke their power decades ago. The assassins are far older than Masia. Anarchic delusions of virulence as a play, less easily eradicated. We will not prevail this night, but if you make haste, we may yet save our order. What must I do? Go to the tower. Take the sword and the book. Hide them. They must not fall into the assassin's hands. Grandmaster, Go! I won't.
Pope Clement, hear me? Before this year is out, you will answer for your crimes before God Almighty! And you, King Philip, no punishment is too heinous for the great evil you have inflicted upon the temple! I curse you! Curse you to the thirteenth generation of your blood! You shall be cursed! Consumed in flames of hunger and wrath, thus came the age of true wisdom to a blistering close. The Knights Templar, once the proud shepherds of order, peace, and illumination, were no more. Yeah, let's get a sniffer running. If Abstergo pings us, pull me out. Okay. I have a visual. Hey there. This is probably disorienting, so I'll be brief. I'm Bishop, not my real name, obviously, but that's as much as you'll get today. Please listen carefully. Abstergo is using you, hijacking your neurons to help them sift through genetic memory data. These guys throw have their fingers in countless corporations, governments, media outlets, and NGOs. But now, they want control over history itself. If that doesn't frame you, it should. But we're here to stop them, and I need your help. Deacon, preload gene sequence, uh, AD16, B13, I87. Yep, spooling it up. Last week, we gained access to a bank of unsequenced memories in Abstergo's Helix servers. For now, we'd like you to experience a small sample. This should help you understand our struggle. And after that, you can decide for yourself what comes next. We'll be waiting. Hey, Frank. Weebubs. Good to see you as well. What, what's up? Uh, Frank, do you know what? That's a very good point. Uh, I haven't even had the chance to actually use the options at all, but I'm getting there. I mean, it just throws you right into the deep end, and I'm like, okay, I don't want to ruin this flow right now. Oh, don't worry, I'll... I still... I need to adjust, like, sensitivity and everything. Because it's like a complete fresh start, as I always do in these games. In, in the marathons, anyway. So yeah, this is this was the ending of Assassin's Creed Rogue, if you guys remember. This is where it took place, because it was leading into Unity. Which is pretty fucking cool. Arno. Can't I go with you, father? Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top. That's forever. Not as long as all that. And when I get back, we'll see the fireworks. And Arno, no exploring, hmm? Yes, father. And I will totally die on camera later on to create an emotional impact. Yeah, yeah, I am. The, the son of Charles Dorian, Arno Dorian. That's right. I don't know how much you guys know about these games when I'm streaming them, but yeah. Feel free to let me know if I'm being pretentious. Well, don't worry, he grows up fast. Not like Connor, where it really dragged out a bit, I guess. Hold on, can I change the options now? At least get subtitles on, you know? Uh, brightness seems fine. It was a bit dark in the intro, but... Companion app off. I don't, I don't need this stuff. I don't care about rift guides. I don't care about that. Sound? Guys, always let me know if the sound is a problem or if you can't hear me, but yeah, sound should be fine. Subs on. I always have subs on when streaming, always, because I've had requests from like Panther and Frank now to... I, I mean, it's better in case you want to retain everything. Puppeteer. Do I need a... I think puppeteer means the controls. I never really like to have the controls showing, especially because I'm really familiar with this series. Updates, usually. I don't really need tutorials, no. Widget, mission log, minimap, friend widget. No one right now plays this game, so who cares about that? Let's increase that sensitivity to at least to 8, because I'm i usually towards the end. Not like max usually, but 8 or 9 universally. Alright, I think we're good. Alright, options are fine now. 
Okay, yeah, so you, you yeah, you're pretty much too blind slow. for unity. Okay. You'd rather sit with that old prune? Come on. Too slow. Oh shit. <laughs> oh that's that was in Rogue as well. The lovely detail of the pig being let's see. It's it's the pig being Yeah. That was in, in Rogue too. I loved that. Every detail. Oh thanks, Wee Bubs. Thank you very much for the feedback. Yeah, because I want I want I was telling Panther this at the very beginning. I want there to be a good balance between my my audio and the game's audio, because I do not want to drown out the game audio at all. Bet you can't steal one. Oh, yeah. Well, she's trouble, isn't she? She's not exactly a good influence, is she? Thief! Put that back! I mean, she's clearly just having a throw, having fun, isn't she? She she the dresses like she can Royal afford Highness, that apple with barely pocket change. He's gonna go around there, now. so I'll walk around here. Damn it! The hell's going on? He doesn't even try coming around. Okay. Got you now. Uh, no, you don't. Nah, You're not even trying. Whatever. Just gonna make sure I don't run into him again. Oh, that's that's not a god. That's a. That's just a twatty nobleman. Oh, so the guards. Over there. Okay, I can lure him away like that. That's cool. Alright. Good. That's to Yeah, that's... I totally meant to do that. Totally. At this point, Shay was jumping around behind them, by the way. In the story. Did you see their faces when we stole those apples? <laughs> I'm Arno. Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? Shh. Listen. Don't worry, they'll never think to look for us in here. It was my fault. I'm the one who took the apple. It's yeah, the commotion isn't for the apple Let's kid. See where they're going. Trust me, it's much bigger than that. Yeah, now you'll see what happens. If you pay, if you saw Rogue at the end of Rogue when I streamed that, or whenever I wasn't streaming it in your own time, you'll see exactly what's happened. Is that who I think it is in the chat? <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. This has been a big thing recently. This has been a really big thing that we've been talking about lately. Like in Kingdom Come Deliverance, everyone's speaking with British accents and stuff and stuff. And and, and yet they're in the Czech Republic. With Bohemia. Or in this game, they all none of them have French accents. I think only one or two people have like actual strong French accents. The one I can think of is uh what was his fucking name? The guy who was also in prison. The fuckboy. The one who liked it up the ass. I mean that's his business. I'm I'm just stating facts. Look at me. So now they adopt him. And turns out that Monsieur de la Serre is, uh, yeah, Grandmaster Templar. I think he was Grandmaster, wasn't he? And then shit happened. <laughs> Long story short. By the way, yeah, Nubus of all, great to see you, my good friend. It's awesome to see you, mate. It's like looking at a fucking needle in a haystack, this is, isn't it, mate? That's an in-joke that me and him have, by the way. Yeah, it's it's great to have you. Easily. Can't win fairly in cards, so you stoop to Phoebe, you bastard! Calm down, Victor. I've only come for my watch. It's my watch. I want it fairly. Well, in a just world, Victor, I would agree with you, but this is not a just world. This is France. You're a dead man! Oh, step lightly there, you'll hurt yourself. <laughs> Oh, this was about to turn into a WWE match, but never mind. Yeah, me too. I loved the very first intro part so much. Just had a nice chat with, with Jacques brother. de Molay. You go. 
fetch the marshals. By the way, um, Frank, what you said about PC being dreadful, absolutely. Like, understandable how bad it was on PC. It was fine on, on console. It was like the reverse of Cyberpunk at, at the time, where it ran, from what I saw, okay on PC, but badly on console. It was, it was the reverse of Cyberpunk for Ace for Assassin's Creed Unity. Gentlemen, please, we can come to an understanding. Please, excuse him, he's not house broken. He's not house broken. That's a good one. Yeah, this, this dog isn't house trained. Now he's out of breath, I can tackle him. He has the consumption negative perk from KCB. Kitted blacksmith like you probably can't even read a watch. Come over here and say that! Uh, oh no. shit. Oh shit. Other way. Get yep, other way be good. And don't get caught by the couch ball. <laughs> I've been playing too much KCD in my, in my spare time, by the way. Uh, so I'm yes. speaking in that, like, jargon all the, the time. Man knows when to admit defeat, Victor. Don't get tackled is one of the objectives. By the way, guys, I could. I literally give zero fucks, less and less fucks as I go down the series for the full sync objectives, especially in these games. So don't count on me completing them because I'm already frustrated. The music's very loud, I hope you can still hear me. Uh, maybe that's just my end because I have it on high. But anyway, yeah, what was I saying? That Yeah, I'm already frustrated that, that this game doesn't have multiple fucking save slots. So, I'm already, like, pissed off at that, therefore, I'm not gonna... I have backups, don't worry, I made backups this time, before doing this. This is, because this is my second AC marathon that I've ever done on stream. I didn't make backups last time, I was like, oh, fuck it, just reset, I'm gonna... I don't mind, I guess I'll do it all again. But I don't want to do it all again a third time, especially if I don't particularly love the game in that, in that way. For Rogue, I don't mind, for example, because Rogue is one of my favorite AC games. And it's not that huge either. It's big enough, but not colossal, like, I don't God's know, Odyssey and Valhalla. Huh. Got you now, you little shit. You're a fucking little shit. You what, mate? Misunderstanding. Nothing you started. You started all this. In broad daylight, fucking he British. Broke into my home and stole my watch. See, we're all English. This isn't actually France. Well, I'm sure this is not Versailles. This is this is London. Fucking posh git. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, gits, plural, all, and sir. commoners. He robbed me. <laughs> of what precisely? Well, I can't rob what's Wait originally mine. So, I mean, obviously that's complete bullshit. Of course, of course I can. If I lose it in a wager or something, then yeah, sure. But don't tell him that. Don't give who me else had consumption near this of all? Who else? Plays Everyone knows Tell me. Arno? Who are you talking to? No one, monsieur. You'll be happy to learn I persuaded Olivier to leave off calling the Marshalsea. Again. Je vous remercie, monsieur. What is this? At least the, the French is on point when they do the speak seventh. it. Perhaps a new hobby might be better for your health. Well, I find playing cards affords many opportunities for fresh air and exercise. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. I have business in town and must collect Elise before I can attend to it. Elise is here. Only for the night. She returns to Paris first thing tomorrow. She'll need an escort. Won't she with you so preoccupied? One of you running amok is quite enough. Remain here and see if Olivier has any chores for you. I'm sure he does. What was that? <laughs> Give my regards to Elise. Back talk. Mm -mm. Watch the back talk. Your speech skill isn't quite that high yet, you peasant. I wonder how you guys feel about this topic, by the way. This sub this this awkward subject of Arno having the hots for Elise even though they grew up together as like step siblings. Yeah, but tell me, Nibus of all, who else had consumption? Tell me. Out onto the street, yes? I I don't oh, know. You would love <laughs> that, wouldn't you? It'd break my heart. Olivier, if I weren't here, who'd do all your work for you? The horses need brushing, boy. Get to it. I'm like the fucking groom, really? Ugh. 
Oh boy, no, not Arthur. Oh, that's gonna. Oh, that's gonna. That's break, that breaks my heart, dude. I only just managed to get over his death when I played as John the other day. Okay, when I streamed that. So fortunately for you, I won't be like a mess now because I actually had time to get over it. Because I was like, I'm not playing the epilogue yet. I'm still too attached to Arthur. Some trouble, mon ami. I know Frank. Yeah, there you go. I know. Oh, calm yourself, Perro. That letter won't reach Monsieur de la Serre any faster if you drop dead of exhaustion. Give it here. I'll catch you. He must receive it today. It's very, very important. My agility yes, stat is much higher than time. yours. Give me the fucking letter. I'll see that he gets it. You probably have consumption as well. There's a yeah. There's Monsieur a lift. The there. I I Stop. remember this lift here vividly. Make way! Make way! Yeah, she's a fucking redhead. I know. I mean. Dude, I'll be honest, Elise, looks-wise, yeah, would bang. Attitude-wise, probably not. So I'd probably give her a one-night stand if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> I'd one-night stand that bitch, but not, like, keep as a keeper. I just do not like her personality. And she's fucking dumb at times, too, like, straight up. I'm not even- I'm not even chatting shit, okay? Like, have you seen the ending? God. And not just the ending, but... At times she's justified, at times she isn't. Mostly isn't. Okay? Is that... This is like the, um... Why can't I jump... I was trying to jump on! Okay, he finally managed to... Do I have to get up? Yeah, that's not the right carriage, it's like a ruse. Who, guess who that is? That's foreshadowing. A bit. What I need is a bird's eye view. Oh look, a viewpoint. The signature thing. Oh you guys are you guys are getting horny already? Oh. Okay. I mean <laughs> fair enough, that's fine. Y you guys do you and I'll and I'll I'll do us. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Like I'm chatting shit. But or, or, I mean in all honesty, Versailles is beautiful in this game. I love that they made this a place that you can even come back to later if you wanted. There's three main places. There's, yeah, Paris itself, Versailles, and Ponciad, which is the DLC place for Dead Kings. Ponciad is like a shithole, and that's fine. It's meant to be, I guess. Paris is Paris. It's, it's, it is gorgeous in spite of the revolutionary shit, but... And then you've got, um, yeah, Versailles, which is a nice little escape, you know. And it's lovely, it's beautiful. I've been to both places, myself. Um, as in Paris and Versailles, not Franciade. There you are. There's that redhead. You can you can spot her fairly easily, can't you? Yeah. By the way, I wanted to get my PSN name changed to match my Twitch, but it doesn't seem to have gone through. I need to check up on that. Because this honourable rogue thing is pretty grounded and, and, and engraved at this point. Which I'm proud of. And I like. And I thought, okay, let's... I'm, I don't mind actually changing my PSN name to match it. Can I not get through these guys? You don't have to hold X like in the other games, do you? Okay, I need to get over here quick, because they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna, that. Blend! What the fuck? He wasn't blending! He wasn't fucking blending! I was, like, trying to blend, and they kicked me out. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Nibbest of all. By the way, I don't know if you guys mind if I, like, use your real names. I try to avoid doing that. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep a wider berth this time. That doesn't seem to be working. They keep spotting me. I'm like blending. What am I? Sp <laughs> okay, fuck this. Fuck this. I'm going. I'm going around. I'm gonna climb. Let's do this my way. I'm doing this my way now. Fuck you, game. All right. Let's see. Yeah. There's a lift like right here. It's probably the better option. I'm a peasant. Not allowed in. 
So, fuck this. And uh, you, you can see they, they, they are not fucking around with their security, so... I'm going this way. Okay, apparently there were two lookouts there and I did not see them, but that's fine. That's bright, sorry. Gosh, that's very bright. Can I get in through the window? I think so. <clears throat> oh yeah, there's a manual crouching in this game too. That's right. It's not... It's not like in the other previous games where you automatically crouch contextually. If you're in like a bush or something, you have to manually crouch. That's how it's different. Syndicate had that too, so... See, my way worked. The game was clearly encouraging me. Like, yeah, you need to blend with these people and play it cool. And that was not working out. <laughs> you guys seem bored. So where's... Yeah, Monsieur de la Serre, where is he? There he is, okay, right. Oh, he's, he's gone backstage. Oh, the fucking peasants. Fucking peasants, am I right, guys? <laughs> he says, as a peasant as well. Takes one to know one, though. Takes one to know one. I'm lowborn. I don't have the highborn perk. I mean, not yet, because I'm not an assassin yet or some shit. So, who or what will take its place? Another king? A council of capable men? That is the question. What's his name again? Mirabeau, that's it. Oh, it was called Mirabeau, I think. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, I just got a fucking stealth attack, and that happened. Now, now. <laughs> we can resolve this without recourse to violence, can't we? Get him, Yuko! He's not exactly in the position to... Oh, yeah. There's two of them. suppose not. Okay. Well, one and a half right now. Him, I guess. Get him! Or, or get him! I just pressed... How did I press triangle? Can I not perfect parry? I don't think I can perfect parry right now. I didn't mean to trigger eagle vision. They're just red. They're just demons. Alright, I think he's timing out. He's tagging his mate in. Or oh, tag me in, mate. I think I need to dodge this guy because he's like a... What the fuck was that? He had tracking. <laughs> he had boy dodge too early. Either way. Yeah, you, you're meant to dodge a bit later. Exactly. You can't take us both at once. <laughs> we'll see. That, yeah, I can't perfect parry. He hasn't learned it. So it's just a regular parry. Because when the health goes... When the health glows golden and not red. Because it's red when the attack is coming. But if it's gold, then that's a perfect parry timing, by the way. Not your day. FYI. Is it, Victor? To your health, gentlemen. You boy, yourself! What are you doing there? Uh, running. <sighs> Gods. Yeah, I figured they were guards, thanks. Thank you. Th away. Thanks for that. I didn't know they were guards. He's gonna have tracking. <laughs> I, ju I just escaped that tracking from hell. Like, sometimes... I, I, I made a joke about this while playing with, with some other people in For Honor before, but it's like, the tracking, these guys... The tracking you can have on each other while the other guy's running is like, you, you got like fucking hover boots or some shit. It's crazy. Because they don't usually attack like that, and yet they have like fucking magnetic crosses all of a sudden. Long story short, don't turn your back on them. I'm only running because it tells me to. I, I hate running. I always like to stand my ground. Running is like my worst skill. As in running away, not parkour. Yeah, this I liked about this game. This I liked. This was great. This was awesome. This is one of the best things out. The the free running was so like smooth. It was the best free running we had in this game and Syndicate. Arguably this game more than Syndicate because um 
yeah, Syndicate had a grappling hook, which was a very controversial topic, hot topic. Um, a lot of people were like, nah, grappling hook in Assassin's Creed, and big no-no. I was fine with it. It was fun, I guess. Like, is it fun? If the answer to that question is yes, then usually I'm okay with it. But obviously there are lines to be drawn, but the grappling hook, I think it made sense to be in that game. It was quite far into the future compared to the early... I think it's like the furthest game in the timeline in terms of what like time period it was. But yeah, the grappling hook was, was fine to me in Syndicate. It was, it was just fine. It worked. It was cool. It was, fu it was fun. And it, yeah, it made sense. It wasn't in this game. People usually preferred this game's parkour because it didn't have the grapple hook. And I'm willing to agree with that. It's fine. It's more grounded that way. It, you know, you don't have the grapple hook as a... What would you call it? Like, you don't, you don't rely on it. You're not dependent on it. You know what I mean. It's not like a... Yeah, a crutch. That's what I meant to say. It's not a crutch. I don't think I'm going to bother looting chests and shit. I mean... I don't think I'm supposed to. I'm going to leave it. I just want to get my robes. Like, whenever we're at this stage where we're playing as Connor or, or Shay or Arno, it's like, just give me my fucking assassin robes. And then I'll fuck around. Okay? And by Shay, I mean, I know he starts off as an assassin, but... You know, he transitions to a Templar. That, that's what I was trying to say. Whereas in Connor's and Arno's point of view, you want them to, I don't know, mature, grow up. Yeah, I was... Okay. The last time I was trying to address that comment, um, Nibus of all, was, um... I was getting fired up with the fact that the guards were like, assholes, so I'm gonna readdress that. Um, yeah, the time it was released, yeah. What, what year was it? I forget. Like, 2014? That could be completely wrong. But, yeah, it was like 2014, 2015, right? Wait, 2012 was AC3, so, yeah, it was, it was around that, it was 2014, 2015. Yeah, the graphics did look stunning. And the faces, you said the faces in particular look amazing. Absolutely. They actually do. I won't deny that. It looks great. I mean, it's nice if a game looks good. It's not everything. It is nice if it does. But I will always prefer a game that's smooth with, the, with its gameplay. I mean, Rogue had smooth gameplay and Black Flag. I guess you could say Black Flag too, but I, I lean more towards Rogue because I'm controversial like that. But yeah, Rogue had smoothness in spades and games like that really... I, I look for that in, in games, you know, to commit to. I really do, that, that it's smooth and fluid with the gameplay. Like AC3's combat, my goodness, that combat. Bonsoir, Orgasmically Olivier. good. Has Monsieur de la Serre returned? Senor de la Serre is not expected until late. Ah, well. I suppose I'll just pass the time with Elise, then. Don't get your hopes up just yet. Mademoiselle is at a private soiree, in her honor, at the palace. A party? I wasn't invited. Neither were the horses. <laughs> I'm sure she just misplaced my invitation. I'll find my own way in. Oh, yeah. He couldn't deliver that to De La Serre at the uh, time because of the peasants. How late is late? Perhaps an hour, perhaps three, perhaps not at all. I do not question the comings and goings of my betters. I'll just wait here then. Yeah, Monsieur de la Serre was meeting with um, Mirabeau, which is, at the time, he was the mentor of the assassins. So the Grand Master of the Templars and the mentor of the assassins were meeting. What the fuck? I didn't even do that. <laughs> Why is this glowing? Elise never enjoyed yeah. these high society balls. She'll be home soon. Yeah, the the Grand Master Templar and the Mentor are having talks. They're meeting. It's like, oh, they're trying to play nice, which is very interesting. Too depressing.
Little, yeah, that as well. It's right here. Loot it. I could just slip it under the door. He'd see it the instant he returned. Is that meant to be him? De la Serre. Le traité du monde et de la lumière de Descartes. Never could get through that one. And the tile itself is a mouthful. So he just slides it under the door. Safe and sound, and only slightly delayed. He does not realise how important that letter is, because it really is that it reaches De La Serre. I couldn't sneak through a sewer in these threads, much less a ball. I mean, how good do you have to look? The threads aren't that bad. But Let me take care of that. I guess all you're missing Thank is you, a nice man. jacket, because it does look quite nice. But whatever, that's just me. They have a specific dress code or something. I don't know. Sorry, I was just quickly checking something. Because I'm streaming on my PS4 right now. It's it's a little different. It's it's a little jarring because I'm so used to the PS5, but... Okay, he does look quite dapper. No guest. Robespierre? And who was that behind him? Le Chevalier du you tell him. Invitation, <laughs> That's not gonna work. About that, I had one, of course, but <laughs> Talk on the way. Your no way. How high is your speech no skill? Admittance. Now clear the queue. How high? Next, not please. high enough. You fa speech check failed. Failed. Who? Yeah, that guy behind the bills were pretty important, by the way. That's it. Sivir, that was his name. I remember him now. The fucking ugly guy. The guy who looks like a bloated pig. With a fucked up face. Quite the turnout. Quite! Too quite! Oh, oh, quite indeed, good sir, I must say. Oh, oh, oh. So, I need to get in through the window, similarly to how Shay got in, which is over there, right in front of me. Oh, look at that! Oh, beautiful, wow, so cool! It's like like I haven't seen fireworks before. I mean, at this time, I guess they were much more appreciated in that sense. Can't get too close to the uh, guards because they will recognize me. I'll just go up here. That what? There was one watching me already. Just quick, move, move, quick. Act fast. Okay, I'm good. I did not realize there was one behind me somewhere. But yeah, I'm streaming on my PS4. I had to switch console for this. I mean, it's not like the most inconvenient thing in the world. It's just I wish I could do it from a PS5, as always. But I ranted about this in, in the Discord server. But um, essentially, uh, there are problems when you play these games on the PS5. Can I? Like, is he gonna? Good. Yeah, there are problems when you stream Unity and well, no, not Unity, but Syndicate. Um, and the Chronicles games, which I'm going to do after Syndicate, they have problems. Syndicates are... I know Syndicates very well. They are big problems. It's like these huge visual issues. Like the world is fucking up before your very eyes. And I was, I'm was i obviously not going to allow that to be on my channel for you guys to see. That would be awful. So, yeah, I'm streaming them on the PS4, including this game. So, yeah. I've got them all downloaded and ready already, so that's all fine. Well, who the fuck is laughing like that? Is, is that how loud her laugh is? I can hear her all the way from up here. How do I... I'm going to wait for him to go. Because he'll probably see me. Yeah. Look at that one. Pretty sure his shoes cost more than my rent. Do I need to go this way? Yeah, this is where Shay got in. Right here. You are back! Stop! <laughs> it's Get down! Will you let me back in if I do? What? Certainly not! Oh, because his speech well, skill isn't high enough. You, but now I, I, I have the here. high ground, literally. So fuck off. <laughs> fuck you. You can get fucked, dude. <laughs> oh, it's these guys. Later, yes. Of course. It's these guys. 
Do they glow gold? Yes, they do. Don't walk into me. That's uh, Le Roi de Thune and Siver over there. He was at the gate when we walked in. They are Templars. And so are those next three in the next room. I mean, that's not a spoiler. It's just it's just my powerful Wait, skills of observation. I can't remember the last otherwise time known as playing together, the game at least I once before. That cunt on the right, that snobby bitch there is a Templar. No um, the guy in the middle is a fucking Templar. That, that dude is a fucking Templar. Yeah, these three are Templars. Where am I going? I just got ahead of myself. I need to... You're not meant to walk up to them, I guess. I'm just trying to make sure you guys get a good look at them. I don't know if Elise was a Templar at this point. She might have been. Oh, he has his eyes on that redhead. Merci. Mm -hmm. Yep. Get rejected. Yeah, noob. Should I call you Noob for short? I don't want to use people's real names. Sometimes it slips out, so forgive me, but... Yeah, Noobist. I'll call you Noobist. <laughs> but yeah, um, everything's being downloaded. Yeah. I know, it's a rare thing. You'd be surprised. <laughs> Coming from you, you'd know. <laughs> yeah, I know, what a novel concept. By the way, guys, I'm sorry, the chat, you might have be already aware of she this, always but... did love the chase. Yeah, playing hard to get. Anyway, um, yeah, the chat is a little bit delayed. I have, like, some latency. I don't want my bitrate affected, though, so... I've left it as it is. It shouldn't be a problem, but if I address a comment a bit late, that's you why. have caused quite a commotion. And what can I say? You were always a bad influence. Oh, you I mean, she was. She made me steal the fucking apple. God, that's like theft. And we weren't even that hungry. We were rich. We could have afforded it. Easily. Are you wearing one of my father's suits? <laughs> Are you wearing a I mean, he does wear it quite well. I but... feel like a mummy wrapped up in this thing. Must be quite an occasion to get you so fancy. It's not like that. Truth be told, it's a lot of ceremony and pontification. Doll is dead. Well, when you don't invite me to your parties, everyone suffers. I did try, but my father was adamant. Adamant? Your father. Who's there? Who's there? So posh. Sure, I'll distract them. What? Like, You're yeah. Me out. My father was adamant. I can't get over that. Later, but for now, that wordplay. Oh, no, no, Her no, speech skill must be really high. Stop being such a baby. I'm sure there aren't any guard dogs this time. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Bye bye. See you in a bit. <laughs> I'll be back for more. Don't you worry. Um, While you make excuses for me. Do I have the ladies' man perk? I should do. Oh fuck! Yeah, gendarmerie. Waste of time. There's nobody out here. Fucking cops. Oh shit! Don't get caught. Don't. F yeah. I I'll be honest with you guys. I do not like how the crouch mechanic works. Not the biggest fan in this game. Not the biggest fan. So you won't see me using it that much, I'll tell you that. Especially when I'm like, an actual assassin, I won't be using the crouch mechanic too much. I mean, the crouching is alright, it's just the, the cover to cover system is, is a bit mm, finicky. How the fuck, am I just, am I even going the right way? Oh, I thought he was going to turn around. I don't know if this is the right way. I might have to go over there. Because the, the marker is over there, though. Maybe maybe I have to go down there. I don't know. I just came from there. I'm an idiot. No. Panther says I'm good with navigation. No, I'm not. I, I keep telling her I'm not. Who's even going I suck. To come out here? Ten to one, I end the night cleaning a rich man's off of shoes. Oh. Also, because a lot of these rooms look the same, in my opinion. They look so similar, like the layouts and shit, and the decor. Okay, yeah, this is the way out, good. And I didn't get into conflict, that's a bonus. Oh no, look what's going on there. You're right, monsieur. 
Too much of the king's champagne. Oh shit. Monsieur. Monsieur de la Serre. Monsieur de la Serre. That Siver is there with the Roi de Thune as well over there. Siver, just before him. Guards! Help! Murder! He's gonna get framed. <laughs> Killed Lord de la Serre. Who done it? It wasn't me, but you guys don't give a shit. Makes your life easier if you just close the case, right? Yeah, so I was this guy. Yeah, lock him up. Throw him in the fucking stocks. I mean, fuck the stocks. For murder, you get much worse. Yeah, like, you're going to prison, you're gonna get fucking executed. Then again, they do spend a lot of time in prison. And by they, I mean Arno and... What was the guy's name? The other assassin that gets locked up there with him. I forgot his fucking name. It'll come back to me. Long loading screen. I know, I know. <laughs> There we go, it's finally stopped shitting itself. No! It, it wasn't me! Tell me how well did the knife! Please! Well, that's the thing about that's the thing about us guys in prison. We're all innocent really. We're we're all innocent. Trust me. Why is he naked? <laughs> no one else is naked. No other inmates are naked except him. Like, what's going on with that? that guy? Where am I? In hell. I mean, it makes him wonder if he's a giver or a receiver. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Just don't drop the soap, alright? I don't know what how to say that in French, but don't don't drop the soap. I can't remember his name. The guy who's in here with me. The the, the guy who's secretly an assassin. Where he's staring at, pisspot. Something not really worth staring at. Oh. I told him. Hello? Which one of you guys shoved a lockpick up your ass? You can fit all kinds of things up in there if you try hard enough. Is this my bed? This sucks. Let's just go straight to sleep. I'm tired. Charles Dorian's watch. Broken. It's been broken for all that time. But, you know, it's it's got sentimental value, right? Pierre Belek, that's it, that's his name. Which this, by this I had to look at him there to realize what his name was. No mood for this. It's Pierre Belek. Or Pierre Belland, if you fancy. I, call, I used to call him Pierre Take Belland. If you think you can. Yeah, now is when, yeah, he trains me. Now I learn all the good shit. Free entertainment for these guys. I just went right in there. Oh, he's betting on me. That, that's wise. Oh, <laughs> that looked like it hurt. I mean, the thudding impact too. Well struck, this bud. See if your defense is as good. Didn't even need to see the, the light there. There you go. So much effort for a broken antique. 
Say that again. I've nothing more to say, old man. He's, he's not touched me. Like, is he really? Is he like kind of suck on purpose? Because he's an assassin. He's meant to be better than this. I'm like a fucking peasant. The only experience I have with fighting is with two fucking fellow blacksmith peasants. The one, yeah, the ones from before. How, okay, I'm having to hit him a lot. That's, he has quite a lot of health. Why is he a fucking Dark Souls boss? Well, he's not because he's easy. Give me what's mine. And go back to your crazy drawings, old man. Drawings. He's here. Everywhere. Scribbled like chicken scratches all over this cell. I assume that's his blood, because he didn't touch me, by the way. Where? where? On my shirt. Come here, you little piss pot. Put your hands off me. Look at the wall. What are you doing? Concentrate. Concentrate. Eagle vision, yep. Exactly, so... He has the gift. He can see it. He has the sight. What are they? Messages from the past. I have myself thrown into half the prisons in Paris in search of these. What's your name, boy? Arno. Arno Victor Dorian. Dorian. Of course. I can't get over the... Yeah, that's his name. I remember. Pierre Belek. I knew your father. I, yeah, like like what Nubis of all said. Bully for you. Um, I can't get over the accents. He died They're too Versailles. English. They're too British. He was 76. It, it did ruin the immersion for me at the time. December, as I recall, no witnesses. How did you... Your father was an assassin, Arno. He gave his life, fighting for the liberty of all mankind. You stick with me, you might just live long enough to join the Brotherhood. Honor your father's memory. <laughs> Listen, I'm sure your little cult is a delightful bunch, but I'm not interested. The only thing I care about is finding Elise. How are you planning on doing that from in here? <laughs> Good point. Good point. He's got a point. Might as well. Might as well. Besides, when you're in prison, like, ideally you'd want to make friends with the guys, not enemies with them. Turn this into Shawshank Redemption. Oh look, he's grown out some stubble. Again. Ow. Focus, piss pot. What the hell is going on out there? The citizens are restless. Keep an ear open. Opportunity might just come knocking soon. I am not used to talking during these guys. You understand? I, I'm like, <laughs> I don't know if this is like harm for the stream. But that was to the channel, fire. but you know. Sometimes opportunity sounds a lot like cannon fire. Follow the lead. Yeah, I'm not used to like talking. I prefer to just have the gameplay, but you know, as long as you guys are enjoying yourselves, that's that's what matters. And if I Unless enjoy doing it, which I kind of do so life. far, so I'll at least do this for a few good games that I'm streaming, and we'll see how it goes. The wall. Oh, I told you this was going to end badly. Silence. Stay back. Oh, well, this is quite the ruse. It's funny because shouldn't they know two guys are missing? Don't they do counts? Don't they do counts? Wouldn't they know? Wait, you have a hidden blade? Right, let's get out of this shell. You there! Run like you mean it! All right, you need to get that door open. Keep me for a bit, piss <laughs> he just keeps calling me piss pot. Oh, <sighs> Perfect parry. He's going to attack as well. Watch out. Smoke. Can I? How do I do smoke bombs? I press triangle. This isn't rogue. This is unity. Come on, rogue. <laughs> that gets confusing. Like, am I talking to myself or am I talking about the, the game that AC rogue? We have three prop. Oh, that's that, that's that's a gun. Which these are smoke guns. Okay. 
I forgot, you can also dodge gunshots in this game. Yeah, I remember, you can like, dodge and you'll somehow dodge the bullets. Which is, it's, it's cool, I guess. I guess it works. You've got to be kidding. I mean, in this game, love the parkour, not the biggest fan of the, uh, oh, why am I, no, don't bother, just run, just run. It's smarter to run right now. I did not mean to do that, there we go. Move. I'm moving, he's not moving, okay. I jinxed it, oh, I love the parkour, he's not moving! Ugh. Yeah, I was gonna say, I love the parkour in this game, but not not the biggest fan of the combat. I'll, I'll, I'll be real. Syndicate's combat was a huge improvement. Yeah, I preferred the combat in AC3, and in Rogue, and even in Brotherhood, Revelations, that's a lot of guards. Yeah, love Syndicate's combat a lot, actually. But not so much in this game. It just feels a little, uh, I don't know, janky. Especially when there's loads of enemies. If there's just a few enemies, it's okay. But when there's like, you know, when there's loads of enemies, because sometimes you're fighting like small armies or platoons, in, especially like the harder co-op missions, which I used to do a lot of. Yeah, then the combat is not great. It's it's ideal for like yeah like. One on one, one on two, one on three, one on four maybe, but no more than one on four. Trust me. Then it gets really a bit more frustrating than anything. I guess that's understandable. I surrender. I surrender. Yeah, all right, that's fine. I'll let you go. What are you waiting for, Pesbot? It's time to jump. Where's the hate? Prison scrambled your brains, old man. Drink took care of that a long time ago. Now get up there! I can't, that's impossible! Impossible? That's the purview of every assassin boy! You can pluck your head out of your own arts. Come find us. You'd make a great fit. Goodbye, this pot! You! Back away from the ledge! because I totally forgot the game I was playing for the last hour. <laughs> the <laughs> noobest. Short. Yeah, I know. It's pretty short. Yeah. Yeah, like I was saying, I totally forgot the game I was playing for the last hour. I'm sorry. I needed that reminder to pop up. It's like, oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was, you know, chivalry or <laughs> Assassin's Creed 3. I don't know. Getting a little rendezvous with you know who before we, you know, join the assassins. Please. <laughs> I know, that's that's <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> this isn't syndicate? Fuck. Doctor, what happened? <laughs> Uninstall. Elise. Delete I've... the PS4. To repay my father's kindness? Elise, please. You can't believe I killed Monsieur de la Serre. Your father. He wasn't the man you thought he was. Neither of our fathers were. I know exactly who my father was, Arno. And I know who yours was. I suppose it was inevitable. You an assassin. Me a Templar. You? Does that shock you? My father always meant for me to follow in his footsteps. Now all I can do is avenge him. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with his death. But you did. No. No! By my life, I swear I didn't! Is that...? 
Letter intended for my father the day he was murdered. Read it. Grandmaster de la Serre, I have learned through my agents that an individual within our order plots against you. I beg you to be on your guard at the initiation tonight. Trust no one, not even those you call friends. May the Father of Understanding guide you. L. I found that on the floor of my father's room. I know, Pin. I didn't know. Neither did my father. How could I have known? Just go. Please. Yeah, I know, Anubist. I know. I mean, how long was he in prison for? Two months? I think it said. I mean, he indirectly caused the, his death. Because he delayed the delivery of that important letter. With his action. To actually try to get it to him sooner. You know, you saw what happened. And then the blacksmiths got in the way. The, the peasant blacksmith dudes. I think they were blacksmiths. I think, yeah. I mean, you saw what happened. Yeah. But, I mean, it's not his fault, obviously. It's not in that sense, but, yeah. So who wrote that? It was someone called L. I don't actually know who wrote it. It was someone trying to warn him. Someone in our order, and their name, or the second name, began with L. I'm trying to think of who... Was that Lafreniere? Was that the, the guy with the... The big hooded getup, the cloak. It might have been. So I remember his name was Lafrenier or something. We we assassinated him in like a graveyard or some shit. Yeah, it was. It was. I mean, I guess the courier would have gotten to the party and had permission to take it to him eventually before he would have been killed. But, yeah. I guess, what is this supposed to be? you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's a complex matter, isn't it? The courier would have probably... I mean, was he courier 6 is the question. He wasn't courier 6, was he? So... <laughs> yeah, the, 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 he wasn't courier 6 from Fallout New Vegas. So... <laughs> maybe not. Maybe he wouldn't have managed. Yeah. <laughs> the snoo snoo. He was just... Yeah, th he's not... You're not wrong, Frank. You're not wrong. You're actually not wrong. That's true. He was so busy. <laughs> he was so busy. Like, on his mind, he was distracted. Like, oh, I'm gonna get some snoo snoo with, with my redhead bitch tonight. <laughs> it, it threw him off guard. It threw him off. He was like, let's put this letter over there under his door and just, you know, whatever. I just want to go get some action. <laughs> the, the bear and the bull. I can't do that voice, I'm sorry. I can do plenty of voices, but not that one. Not Ulysses. <laughs> I can't do the Ulysses voice. The bear and the bull. You know. I won't even try. <laughs> How does he do that voice? The actor. Jesus. It's a sick voice, though. Which viewpoint is this, anyway? Yeah, Palle de la Justice, I think. Might as well sink it. It's right here. Near the entrance to the Assassin Bureau. Yep. Where, where is... Oh, it's up there. Yeah, it's up there. Oh, the flood delay looking nice. Love me some Fleur de Lis. Beautiful. If I ever... If I could ever get a tattoo, it would be a, something like that. I don't have any tats. I would like some. I probably will get one someday. But yeah, I would like to get like Fleur de Lis or the Assassin's Symbol or something on my, on my arm. Somewhere on my wrist. Hmm. 
I mean, who knows? I could be like a total pussy with the tattooing, so who knows? I don't have the worst pain management, but the only one way to find out is getting it done. So we'll see. Oh, I can jump into that hay. That'll make things quick. <laughs> it's probably like wondering, what the fuck is this guy doing? Trust me, it's actually very normal. What, what I'm doing. It's it's extremely normal in this series. You don't, that, you don't know you're a part of it. You know, you're just an extra. I suppose a simple address would be too mundane. Yeah, it would. I mean, this isn't an Amazon delivery. Or eBay, if that's more your fancy. Hey, Panther, you know Nightfall? This place was in it. The Sainte Chapelle. It was featured in that series a lot, and I loved it. Because it was based, it's based in France, that point, that series. And that's why Jack de Millet was there and everything. And and this place was featured a lot. And I was like, yeah, I was doing the Leonardo DiCaprio meme. But I was like, <gasps> pointing at the fucking screen. Like, shit, that was in Unity. Again. I think I need to put it over there. Perhaps the sunbeam. Can I not jump back from here? Oh, good, I can. Yeah, I need to go over there. So, not the easiest thing though. Can I just jump straight onto it? No, he has to jump on the chandelier. No, left. A gush. Merde. Oh, that's, that's much better. Oh. And, wait, what? I thought he was going to jump up on it, not... Ugh. Okay, I jinxed it. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> he fucks it up. Jump up the thing. Thank you. You know what it is. A fucking leap of faith. Took you long enough, piss pot. What is this place? The sanctuary. The place we can train and prepare away from the eyes of our enemies. Didn't we just escape from a dungeon? It's not a dungeon. It's a nerve center. From these tunnels, we can get anywhere in the city, all without being seen. We have eyes everywhere. Really? Seems visibility would be a problem. Wouldn't you prefer something with a view? This place has served us well for 600 years, Pisspot. Mm-hmm. And how long were you standing in the dark waiting for me? Not long. Guillaume spotted you from the bell tower. Well, it was quite the entrance. Are you mocking me? No, no. God's truth. Very theatrical. Shut up. We're here. The candidate will approach.
you know what I'd be thinking right now? It's like, what is this fucking Illuminati Freemason shit I'm walking into? Like, is this what you rich people get up to in your spare time? So, what did that goblin, the, of the blood of the king, returns to us? Belek thought you wouldn't come, but changed your mind. I'm tired of running from my failures, Monsieur de la Serre, my father. I want to make it right. The death of Grandmaster de la Serre weighs on you. Why? Did you wield the blade yourself? Does it matter? The blame still lies with me. What language is that? It's not French. Very well. Yeah, no, I, don't know, I never actually come into the saw light. what language that was. From the light, you will return to the dark. Are you prepared to travel the Eagle's path? If that's a fancy way of asking, do I want your help? Yes. Then he, you see, he likes him. Mirabu likes him. He does. I, I can take a guess, I can hazard a guess, that that was Arabic, by the way. Because they... They, um, what's it called? That frame rate spike, though. <laughs> Jesus. Um, when they're doing their, like, whole Creed thing, they always have this, um, this line where they say, I mean, I could be quoting it completely wrong, so, you know, castrate me if you wish, but it's something along the lines of, le wal, le she wal mutlak munkin, something like that, and, and I believe that that's Arabic, so they probably were speaking Arabic, I don't know. That's my educated guess. What's happening? Hello? Because it's out of res I don't know, it's out of respect of Altair. I don't know. Natus, obviously being born. Querilis, not like pupil. Education, Juventus. Adultus, Mortis. So he's being reborn, that's the idea. Arno Dorian is dead. You know. He's reborn all that shit. Look at those skulls. Corpse walls. Yeah, I might not want to touch that. It's hot. I'll stick to it. You know, give, give those flames a white berth. Oh shit, is that like supposed to be shame? I mean, that's not how it happens, but that's how you visualize it. And... He looked like an assassin, even though a Templar killed him. Yeah, the seal. Is that the, is that the De La Serre thing? Sent by Lafreniere. Or is that supposed to be like Shay? Yeah. The magic after. You seem to have always quite a mercy. You were always a bad influence. So his you life is like flashing forever before his eyes. Wait, hold on, what's going on down there? Is that Delas yeah, that's Delasaire, so that's You must shame. receive it today. It's very, very important. This is now a very Because obviously his father's death traumatized him and he blames himself for Delasaire's death. Dad, I'll distract you. I am blessed. 
such a boring <laughs> It's funny because Templars killed them, not assassins, so why do they look like assassins? Right, let's find the uh, the Shea silhouette somewhere and get some, you know, pretend payback. Some mental payback. Yeah, so that would be Shea. And there's the Juventus Natus. Oh! Where did this? Oh, that's the rebirth one. Adultus, yeah. Mortis, yeah, that's it. There it is. That's cool, because they've changed. So, so that's would be Shay. Let's go get him. The corpses of his father and Delacere. Well, Shay killed his father at least. And yeah, <laughs> okay, so it turns out he's killed himself. Ugh. That's not fucked up at all. But that's the idea of his rebirth, right? You, you know, killing his old self. I don't know. Say it. Go balls on bear. Or it's going to clear Go on, you didn't say it. from the flesh of the innocent. I am plain sight. Never Not compromise lame. the brotherhood. Fair enough. Let these tenets be branded upon your mind. Follow them and be uplifted. Break them at I just, your peril. I just hate the first rule because right. the games are so restrictive. It's not, it's not like I hate the idea, I just hate the restrictions behind it in the gameplay. As in killing civilians. Arno Dorian is dead. He has been culled from this world, his sins and failures turned to dust. Tonight he is reborn, a novice of the Assassin Brotherhood. Yeah, Frank, you said it. At least Frank said it, guys. I mean, Arno may have forgotten, but Frank said it. Shout out to Frank. So now I can finally... Well, it didn't take as long as it did in Rogue and AC3, thankfully. Or AC2. I think AC2 and Unity have the same length for it. But, yeah. I finally got the robes. I can finally actually play the game and be an assassin. Properly. So everything I do actually feels like it matters now. Because I've actually achieved the rank of assassin. Or at least initiate as they like to keep reminding me in this game. Like, hey, you're a fucking noob. You know, deal with it. Welcome back. Now that you've experienced life as an assassin, are you willing to pick up the fight and join us? Deacon, load the file. Coming up. We lifted a media file from Dergo last month, and the information it contains is astounding. But we won't share these things with just anyone. By pressing play, you'll be joining the assassins. If you want to fight the Templar menace, if you're willing to save civilization from Abstergo's clutches, God, how I love this. press play, sit back, and ready yourself for the I truth. I fucking love this, guys. Just you watch. Just you wait. Press play, and you'll become an assassin. It's like in AC3 when they were, like, teasing. Oh, Desmond. Getting cold touch, feet? Touch the, the ball. <laughs> like, there's no choice here. This is this is fucking, dude. No, there's no choice. So my other, my only other alternative, if if I want to be we a don't Templar, have much time, friend. oh shut the fuck up, Bishop. If if, if I want to be a Templar, I can just I just have to what close the fucking stream, uninstall the game. <laughs> All right, fuck you then. Good Whatever. Good Welcome choice. I didn't make one. Initial. You made it for me. You made it for me. <laughs> fuck off. It's not a fucking choice. In 
In the 1950s, it was theorized that human DNA worked via the triple helix model. Some years later, the work of Crick and Watson demolished this theory in favor of the double helix. Today, we know the double helix to be indisputably the basis Guys, this isn't Assassin's Creed anymore. So this is uh, a science documentary. Gain so much traction? Enjoy! Why did Rosalind Franklin's x-rays seem to confirm it? It turns out that their initial samples had been taken from small traces of precursor DNA, the rare genes of an ancient race embedded in our own. First save. We yeah. now know that triple helix DNA is the foundation of the precursor genome. It is the genetic Rosetta Stone of our age. If we can crack it open, if we can sequence the full precursor genome, yeah, they have quite a hard on for to the this knowledge healing we will gain. Using Animus technology, precursor history will be open to us for the first time ever. Ancient languages will be unlocked, and ancient technology will be Stop ours. Stop using the Assassin's Creed games you never made. Will be possible if we <laughs> but you never the should have done. That, that, that you should have done, but never did. Of Eden. Such discoveries would surpass 100-fold the splitting of the atom. This, like, I don't know if you guys saw that, Last but year, like at the very, very beginning of the stream, you would have seen that screen. Oh, that was the same. genes contained human and precursor DNA at an incredible 25 to 1 ratio. Our work will begin with this sample. Our goal is to unravel the triple helix, sequence the precursor genome, and change the world for the better, forever. That's why they had such Welcome a hard on for the Phoenix Project. Um, what was his fucking name? John from IT, and Bartholomew Roberts, the Sage thing. In AC four, that was AC four. So this is where we stand. Last year, a stegro acquired the body of a man we called Sage, Just one of a it. rare breed of humans with a surplus of ancient DNA. This sparked a search for more sages. Yep, that's the guy with the fucking dumbass mustache. The more Abstergo finds, the closer face. they get to like, the screw that guy. We've blocked their recent attempts to find more, but Abstergo will not stop looking until they sequence a full precursor genome. What so, the fuck was that supposed to be? The, the building why chase an assassin the French Revolution? I don't know, because he's cool, I guess. Point in his <laughs> it's life, fun to play as him. contact with another sage. We need you to find out when and where these meetings Oh yes, yeah. another sage. If exactly. Arno was present for this sage there he is, death, over there. That's him. Go straight to his body. I, I'm trying so hard to not first. spoil and just say who he in. is and what happens, simple. but genetic memory must <laughs> be tackled I'm in sequence. Now to keep commenting as I play these days now. But we're confident you're up to the task, and you won't be alone. Oh yeah, the multiplayer thing, which like was you, good, by the way. I wish they kept training, this. I really you wish they kept this, at least right. in Syndicate. It would have been so good in Syndicate. Like, dude, it was Voting so ready. It was so primed for co-op. Dude, like, you just can't switch between the two siblings when you do co-op. Simple. Like, one person would play Jacob, one would play Eevee, and you get exclusive co-op missions with, with those two if you play online. Like, dude, that would have been awesome. But only two player caught because fuck Henry Green. Fuck that guy. I've got something else. Win. The more time you spend with Arno, the more data will have. So yeah, you would play as Jacob Reeve. Would have been so good. His abilities. Here, have a look at this. I mean, I discussed this with you, didn't I? Nub Nubist and uh, Panther. I talked about that with you and how nice that would have been. Really wish they'd kept the co op. Really wish that. It was. I mean, it wasn't executed perfectly, per se, in this game. I had my issues with it, but then again, nothing's perfect, so... You know. But it, it was good, it was great, it was a lovely idea. What should I unlock? Okay, that needs... Four. Yeah, there, there you go, Panther, I know. Exactly. I mean, I want to use a gun. Or do I? Do I even need a gun? <laughs> At least not for now. Um, what about the health? Yeah, upgrade the health. Whatever, that's key. It's imperative. Thick skin, thicker skin. Is the hold on? No, is the final upgrade just thick with a double C? Thick skin? No, it's just iron skin. That's disappointing. Fuck this. Uninstalling the game. I don't get to be thick. One with last a double C. thing. While you've been busy, I had Deacon do some poking around in Arno's memories. Seems he was a busy guy. <laughs> See that symbol? 
That's a co-op mission. Yeah, I know that's a co-op. Don't even don't know tell me this. But I thought you'd like to mix it up a little. These are I wish I could skip this, no this thing, because I'm very familiar. So I used to run a clan. I'm not trying to brag. It, it was fun. The glitch, Those were the good old days. I've marked them on your map. We were called, like, the wolves and shit. It was great. And I was, yeah, I was the head of the clan. I achieved max rank. It was... I used to play missions with with awesome people in the community. Oh, I miss those days a lot. It was so much fun. It really was. Ugh. Reminiscing again. I'm keeping the default look for now because I love Arno's default outfit. I'll just say that. What, Seth MacFarlane <laughs> was an assassin? Why is the symbol upside down, by the way? Fearless outfit. That was like a concept, yeah. I'm glad they went with this one, because this looks dapper. It looks really nice. Yeah, let's just... Wait, can I at least check my um, my weapon? Yeah. Dull... I don't want a dull blade. Might as well use one of these, right? Where's... Yeah, Arno's French rapier. Let's just put that. It's his sword. <laughs> McFar... Yeah, let's... Let's take a look at McFarlane again. I like the fact that the symbol's upside down. It's interesting. It does look quite nice. It does. I like it. Look at it. Look at that. It's like... It's cool. I might equip that later on. Who knows? We'll see how I feel about it. How do I get Shay's again? Yeah, because Shay would be one of my favorites because he's like my favorite character in the whole series. And then there's Connor. You know, very, very, very close second. Thomas de Carneal, the best fuck, the one, the assassin we were fighting at the very beginning when we were playing as um, Jack de Malay's advisor. Uh, yeah, these are from Dead Kings. That's the one you look at the very end of the main story. Really beautiful outfit. Alt, dude, do you know what sucks? In every game, Altea's outfit is so fucking hard to unlock. It's not fair. They make Altea's outfit like always a pain in the fucking butthole to unlock. Sucks, dude. Can I, yeah, I can't use pistols. I need to actually get the skill for it, but whatever. That can wait. I don't need them right now. I wanted to go for health instead. Alright, let's uh, not fuck around. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Frank. As it should be. Is someone trying to talk to me? Who's, who's starting on me? No, he's, he's starting on this guy. Fuck you, Billy. Yeah, I know. You're right, though. Exactly, with Altea's gear. Yeah, because Altea's like the OG, right? It's fair enough. I I just don't like the up, the up, the unlock... Um, requirement in this game. I respect it in all the other games, like in AC3. It was really hard to unlock in a proper way that I respect, but I did not, I genuinely just did not like how you have to unlock it with the Helix Rift missions, because those missions are just, ugh, crap. I don't like them. Don't like to do them. Can I just make that jump? <laughs> jump. <laughs> Good start. Great start. He just bounced off the fucking wall. It's a great start. That that's fantastic. He just got the robes and he's dead. <laughs> Classic. I'm clipping that. That's getting clipped. <laughs> that's getting clipped. That's definitely getting clipped. <laughs> like why? Why does he just not grab onto that? Fuck! Look how scalable it is. Look at that. <laughs> Dude, come on. Oh, it's fine. I just got up. It was nothing. I I just got up from where I fell. It wasn't actually that bad. I have titanium bones. Alright. That was just stupid. Like, why? Just because the game doesn't want me to jump towards it. It's like, nope, get bounced off. Immersion ruined. Let's do this. I mean, I, I took a bad fall, Pierre, yeah, but I'm fine the mission? I promise. I'm up to the task. Mission. Let's get your arse in position. It rhymes. The last questions, piss -pop. Missions get your ass in position. <laughs> I live to serve. <laughs> I know, Panther. Fucking Arno. I mean, it's not Arno's fault technically. It's it's a game mechanic thing, but <laughs> that was kind of funny. <laughs> like I have a lot of problems with with what happened there. 
Like, why not grab onto that perfectly scalable wall? You saw me scale it, like, Let's a minute later. On that, okay, please let me get a cover kill on this guy. Or oh, I can go fuck myself. Nope, that's a cover kill. It worked. It still, it still worked. I meant to do that, I promise. Okay, I, um, I've changed my mind. I don't like the blade. <laughs> I, I don't like it. Can I change it? It's too big. It's too, like, thick with a double C. Give me the fucking dull sword again. <laughs> Just give me the shit sword. Because at least it looks more appropriate with the outfit. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's cool. I can live without the grapple hook. I, I just don't want Arno to decide not to grab onto things that he should grab onto. As if it was any other wall. I, what's funny is I've made jumps like that many times over in this game. And, and yet that time, it didn't. <laughs> because Ubisoft didn't want me to. Can I whistle in this game? Was that, I don't think that was a thing. That was in Syndicate, not this game. Shift. I don't want to get, like, spotted too early, because then I won't get a cover kill. I can't whistle. This sucks. Arno can't whistle. He's like me. We just can't whistle. I can't get him, because the other guy will see. So I'm going to have to get him first. Yep, this is good. This is what I wanted. This is exactly what I wanted. I just need to wait a bit. Wait for him to change position. Is he going <laughs> to... Oh. Alright, now. Uh-huh. I'm just gonna wait, because he'll probably, yeah, again, change position. Cha change position. Oh, shit, I couldn't go around the corner. Didn't let me. He'll probably see his mate's dead body in a minute. Please don't turn around while I'm positioning myself. Oh, I can't get him from here. You see, these optional objectives drive me mental. It's like cover kills, two out of three. I can't whistle. It sucks. Come on. <laughs> How do I get him over here? Oh. Dude. Oh no, he's not going to see the dead body because I hit it. Automatically. Can I just... Can I, can I do this? Can I just... Be funny about it. Uh, no, I can't. F <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck you. I couldn't whistle. That's my excuse. Fuck it. Lord Guillaume de Roussel has generously agreed to our price of 40%. An act of desperation. What about the priest? He'll come around. Nice cue ball. <laughs> Your confidence is infectious, Sivert. My boys will have the weapon ready. Here are the details. Make sure it goes smoothly. Fucking Cubal and Scarface. Make sure that it goes smoothly, cretin. Whenever I... <laughs> no. I remember the first time I saw that, I jumped. I was like, fuck, what the hell was that? I was bodyguards. Well... Let's fucking get him. I'm not Next going normally for this before he starts screaming. Why do we hang about here when Sivert still lives? He killed Monsieur de la Serre. Patience. Sivert is not the target. Not today. Yeah, we'll get him soon, don't you worry. Council's waiting for our report. I know how to do smoke bombs, I learned that in prison. Bomb. Okay. Keep up with Bellum. Right Is he gonna Yeah, they're gonna shoot me. Person, you oh cool. Can I can I even climb up? Because you can't dodge bullets while climbing, only when you're in like combat. Or just get lucky. Advanced recruit. That's amazing. Thanks. You're still a recruit, but you're an advanced recruit. That's special. Trust me. I'm stealing this kill. Come on then. I'm meant to keep up with you, Bellend. Lead the way. You're meant to be the tip of the. I'll let you finish the rest. Can you just go? We haven't got all day, we're meant to kill C Vare soon, aren't we? Why not just kill him on the way? Oh. 
Dude. Okay, now we want to fight them? This guy can't make up his mind. Oh shit, yeah, he came in with a surprise. Swipe. Oh, 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 I have your guts. They're too English. I can't get over it. And Anubis, Anubis brought it up. And it's because it's fucking true. They're too English. They're too British. They're not French. They're in England. The flight is just wrong. Are you gonna actually shoot that gun? Finally. Or, or were you just showing him how cool the barrel looks? Oh, I didn't see those two guys. Three, rather. Three. Just keep moving. Keep up the, keep the flow up. Merde. Patriots. These imbeciles will pick a fight with anyone. Try not to draw their attention. Shouldn't we stop? And they're the ones that are always dressed in red, like the stop. Templar bodyguards, the Templar guards. There's always more fanatics. Can't save everyone, Pisspot. Fine. Lead the way. Well, there's a cheery thought. Oh, this big guy's starting. He's fucking starting, isn't he? Extremists. Yeah. The, yeah, people by the Templars. He, he backed away. He was like, nah, do you know what? This guy's an assassin. I'm gonna back away. Let's just go. Come on. We've got a job to do, right? Like he said, you can't save everyone. Trying not to strain your heart. That was meant to be a comeback to something that Bellen didn't say. Arno, I don't need you to be stuck here. Move. You see, the parkour is great, but it's not as responsive as you'd like it to be. <laughs> like Syndicate was more responsive, for instance. It had Just like a very. Just not to strain your heart. Again, you're talking to yourself, Arno. He hasn't said anything. Go through the window, that's it. You have to like hold L2 to go through windows. Careful, Pisspot! Oh look, this is 83 now, tree running. Careful, Pisspot! I mean which game had the most responsive parkour? That's the question. There's Beth! Hey Beth! Evening! Evening, Beth. Oh, it's great to see you as always. How are you doing? Just trying not to strain your Oh no, you're talking to yourself, you moron. That's the first time you've said that. <laughs> yeah, welcome, Beth. You've you've joined us for the AC Unity uh, debut. Need a break. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good. That's a great. Call. That's a great response. Evening, mummy. Can we? Oh, yeah. Are we gonna join in or what? Probably not. Yeah, fuck it. Let them fight it out. Ah, jeez, my back! You could have scratched it instead, Jesus. You need to get that rough. I said I'd like it rough, but not the fucking gunshot. Jesus Christ. Yeah, me too, Beth. That makes two of us. Or many of us, I'd like, I'd like to think. Because it's Friday. My fucking back! My back! My full back! Are we gonna go or what, Bellend? Yeah, I'm I'm just um Yeah, I'm I'm glad it's Friday. Well said. Why does he We've so, not seen why is he so slow? for a year and you're letting him walk? All because his name wasn't on a bloody piece of paper. The timing's not right. Too many variables, too many loose threads. <laughs> yeah, no daddy energy. What was I gonna say? I just got a new rank. Top left, elite recruit. That's the ultimate. That's that's the ultimate pickup line. Like you're chatting up some girl, and you say, "Hey, babe, I'm an elite," and she's like, oh, "I'm an elite. You're an elite of what?" So what happens I'm next? I'm an elite recruit. <laughs> we take this ledger full of Templar records. Like, I'm an elite recruit, elite initiate. Killed last night. 
<laughs> and she's just like, nah, fuck this guy. He's a politician. <laughs> Sees himself as a great peacemaker. He thinks he can end the war between assassins and Templars. Mirabeau, yeah. Bring the revolution to a happy conclusion. And convince dogs and cats to live together in peace. And that's bad? It's a self-aggrandizing pipe dream. Yeah, I have to agree with Bellin here. Templars are at their weakest since Jacques de Valais burned. We're running around after second-rate smugglers. Oh, like, Bellin's right, wants to see you know. His legacy. Unfortu it's unfortunate, but the assassins in Templars can I never coexist. Was possible. And look where it got him. Are you guys done? <laughs> like, damn, that would have been a lot of dialogue I would have skipped if I kept walking. But yeah, it's 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 a sad reality that the assassins in Templars can never work together. They can never coexist, no matter how hard they they may try. I mean, Connor tried with Hatham, but in spite of the whole father son thing, it just did not work out. Customs agents of France. Yeah, it was a lovely hideout. Yeah, I agree. It's a lovely hideout. It's it's actually nice. I really like the hideout beneath the Café Théâtre. It's, it's lovely. And you can renovate the Théâtre if you wish. spent the last year hobbled by your damn truce. You might know that. He has a point, Honoré. The truce was with Grand Master And they've got like a whole council and everything. The man's been dead for two years. Whoever's in charge now, you can be certain they aren't sitting idle. We might have learned more had we not allowed Siver to escape. Siver was there? I know your heart is set on keeping the peace. Which isn't going to happen. Sorry, killer Mirabeau. To justice would count for something, wouldn't it? Yes. To be fair, it was, it was Siver and Do not Ruhadetim, confuse your so. personal vendetta with a sound strategy. If he wants to kill Templars... Let him kill Templars. Kill Templars. I've done him all I can. Yeah, I'm an elite Where's recruit. Me? I'm ready. Very well. <laughs> Assassin. I charge you to go to Notre Dame de Paris and to find there the Templar agent, Charles Gabriel Siver. You will learn his secrets, and when you have done so, you will bring him peace in accordance with our tenets. All right, <laughs> yeah, say no more, boss. Yeah, it's not my favorite game either, by the way, Beth. It's not. I think I've already hinted at that enough in this stream. People might have caught on. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, I mean, we have discussed, Beth, you and me before, we've, we've discussed and pondered over stuff. For example, um, the fact that it... Um, it has the uh, the best uh, one of the best parkour systems. It's a it's got a lovely parkour system. The responsiveness isn't, and I'm being reminded of it today. The responsiveness is not quite there for me. Like at least that's how I feel about it. The responsiveness isn't brilliant, but the the, the concept, the the fact that you can control yeah, descend and you know ascend by holding X, and it's 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 very good. It's excellent. But the responsiveness was better in Syndicate. They improved the responsiveness. Because I feel like I was slipping up less in Syndicate. Grapple hook or not. You know, forget the grapple hook for a second. But, yeah. But that's just me. I know everyone's, you know, got their own tastes and such. Yeah, I was discussing the um the linked intro uh, as well. I was mentioning, like, oh, look, guys, this is Charles Dory and Shay killed him. Which was awesome. It was fantastic to see that. And every detail was matching. For example, when they were talking about the stolen apple, the 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 uh, the accident with the suckled pig. Yeah, I know, I know. Valhalla has great responsiveness. Odyssey. Uh, I wasn't the biggest fan of Origins. Don't fucking grill me. But yeah, Odyssey and Valhalla. Loved those games. The responsiveness was on point with yeah. Exactly. On point. If if it had that responsiveness, yeah, I know, with the pot <laughs> like I literally I'm imagining that, it would be the perfect parkour system. It would. I was wondering like which game I didn't even answer my own question, I was pondering like, hmm, which game has like the best parkour system? I guess the closest would be this one, but 
The Isu story, yeah. Yeah, you're right. The Isu story must be brought up. It must. Yeah. And the initial Desmond arc was... Yeah, it was great. It, I liked it. I did like it. It's just a shame that he died as soon as it became fun to play as. <laughs> in my opinion. But, yeah, because in AC3, playing as Desmond was... Oh, so good. It's my idea of a modern day setting for the series. Okay, so this is where we go after Siver, you know, tie up that loose end. Go after one of the... Well, at least one of the two or three or What's four... What's our plan? ...killers of our Monsieur plan. de la Serre. You're not an apprentice anymore, boy. So study your surroundings. But I'm an elite What's recruit. Technically, I'm still a recruit. You're not here to hold your end. Now, this was one of... This was, yeah, another great thing about Unity. No targets in reachable. What are these called? The black box Move. missions? Where he's scanning for opportunities, you know? he's he's like oh, examining the environment. You can open up all you sorts of ways to kill the target. Point. Make one. Yeah, make one. You exactly. secured the cathedral? Oui, monsieur. Good. Tell Siver, I'll meet him inside. Opportunities everywhere. It's on you to take it. You! Get back here with my keys! Thieves! And if all other plans fail... <laughs> when you sacrifice yourself for the cause, your life for his, before Altair, that was the Levantine approach. <laughs> you mean a dagger in broad daylight as I'm cut down where I stand? Sends one hell of a message. Yeah. message. I'll do it my way. I'd rather and not commit martyrdom. Thanks. Assassin. But yeah, they brought back the black box missions like this. They they put them in Valhalla's um what was it the what was the DLC called the Paris one? Yeah, the Siege of Paris was it? Gosh, it escapes me. It was the one in, they had a DLC in France for yeah Valhalla, and it was great. And they had the um the black box missions there for Eivor. Oh my god, I loved it. <laughs> it made the DLC so good. That was that was wonderful. Yeah, what Beth just what Beth said. <laughs> there we go. We've said it, guys. What Beth said. Um, yeah, the fact that they used it to rebuild. Yeah, Notre Dame after the fire was lovely. Beautiful. A big win. Big W for gaming. Absolutely. Turn the color of an aubergine. feet with outrage. Oh, geez, no. Yeah, just kill him. Now I can just get rid of these two. This really is a dull blade. It's not very good with damage. So I'll put up with it for now. Yeah, because it turns like they're level 2 and shit. That sword of barge, that's it. I was about to make a Thrawn a reference, but no one would get it because no one likes that game. Except me. Oh, the cops. No witnesses. No fucking witnesses. No one will notice because there's no one to fucking notice. Right? That's my approach. That's the rogue approach. Just eliminate all witnesses and then it never happened. I mean, back in AC1, when everything was fucked up, I would, yeah, that's, that's what I would do. Just kill everyone. And no one can talk because all their mouths are dead. Oh, you think so? <laughs> it's funny, just before you joined, I was like, I I'm not sure I feel the same way about the combat in this game, actually. Um, I I'll be honest with you, I, yeah, I, I don't think the combat was to entirely to my liking. I really loved Syndicate, AC3s, and Rogues, for sure. Those are like my favorite combat systems. AC3 is probably won it for me. Shame that AC3 had such shit stealth, but yeah, the combat was perfect. Well, not nothing's perfect, but it was pretty damn good. I can't climb that, apparently. Okay. Well, forget that. Gosh, no. Go, 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 jump on the rope thing. There we go. I think I'm going to try over that side. So I need to unlock the assassination opportunity. Where is that? That's towards the front of the cathedral. Okay. Well, I have the keys. Let me just go get the assassination opportunity first. Oh, 
Dishonored. You brought up Dishonored. It's a pretty fucking awesome series. I love Dishonored. I did marathon it a while ago, earlier this year. You've secured the cathedral. We miss you, Dishon. This is the only way in or out, and we paid off the guards. Good. We're off and on dead. I don't want to take any chances. We're miss you for the... Tell him I got the ring's mantle for the police. I'll join you. Oh, he's running off. I'm chasing down. You thought AC3 was rigid? I don't think so. I don't think it was. Oh shit. No, I do not want to start a fight here. That's that's dumb. Things have nothing better to do. Yeah, I'm sure. Earlier this year, I'm pretty sure it was earlier this year. What? Oh fuck. <laughs> oh fucking brain fart. Jesus. I'm like still stuck in 2022. What the hell? What the fuck is wrong with me? It doesn't feel like 2023 yet. 2022 went by so quick. Yeah, I meant last year. Jesus. You know what I meant. Fucking hell. That's such a dumbass moment. Just forget that even happened. Someone must have clipped it so they won't forget it happened. Oh, I just kill him now. I don't care. <laughs> but yeah, Beth, you think... I'm, I'm just surprised that you think this is combat system was rigid. I mean, I know we're all different. I, I respect that. But I also respectfully like, disagree because AC3 for me was so good. I found it to be like really satisfying. I could fight everyone for hours. Like non stop just wiping out the entire Connor was, yeah, the best fighter. Brutal. And the combat was awesome. The newest games don't quite do it for me. Uh, Valhalla's is like, oh, I don't know. It's okay. It does the job, basically. Odyssey was more or less the same. And then it had a lot of like super powered stuff, which was which made it less grounded, so you know, not everyone's gonna be happy with that, including myself, I guess. Yeah, I know. Time's an illusion. Yeah. What a dumbass moment. Fuck me. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get in. Finally. I got everything I need. Yeah, because Brotherhood set... IMO Brotherhood set off the whole fluid combat thing. Because AC1 and 2 were... Um... Yeah. Were... Like, not that smooth. Like, I mean, yeah, they, like I say, they did the job, but... It wasn't exactly, uh, you know, outstanding in those games. But Brotherhood was like a huge step up, and Revelations as well. And then, yeah, I, I loved AC3. The combat there was super... Syndicate was another favourite of mine for the combat. Where, the games where, games where, um, yeah, I don't mind fighting everyone because of how fun it is. Syndicate had some lovely like multi-kill animations too. Oh, that stuff was fantastic. Okay, see there's right there. Let's be careful. Yeah, don't fuck this up. Alright, so he's, he's, in, he's in there, he's gone in. What if I just YOLO it and go next to him? Nope, someone's gonna fucking see me, because I'm an idiot. Great. I did not know someone was behind me. I thought they were much further away. Oh, this is, this sucks. I've ruined it. I've ruined it. I fucking ruined it. I feel like you've got my <laughs> they spotted me so quick as well, I thought I was gonna, like, nail it and just go right in there, but no. He spotted me so quick, he was too good at his job. He's still in the fucking thing, does he not know this is happening? Can you not, please? Oh, there's too many guards. There's just too many. There's too many. I can't, that's... Oh my god. I can't dodge all these bullets. Jesus Christ. This is what I mean, so many fucking guards and... The combat just gets a bit, oh, uh, not the biggest fat. Yep, he's out. He's out. I've ruined it. I've ruined it. <laughs> fucking hell. I've ruined it. Guys, should I just fucking restart? Because I'm not happy with this at all. I, I'm not. No, I'm not happy. Just kill me. I don't care. Fuck off. What the fuck? <laughs> it's like so many guards. 
and the combat is all over the place. It's like KCD, <laughs> where fighting multiple enemies, especially that many, is just a nightmare. I I'm kind of glad they killed me because it got so fucked up. Let's let's rehash. Let's redo that. You know, retake and do it properly. Well, it saved the progress. Okay, so I've got. Okay, I've got the uh, professional kill and all that, so that's fine. I don't need to go do that. Just, just go balls deep. I love you, Beth. You call it spicy. <laughs> spicy combat. I mean, I guess it didn't help that it was a, like a closed space. Then it gets, yeah, really in your face and fucks you up. Yeah, let's get in there. Try this again and not fuck it up. That was weird. Like, how did someone spot me? I did eagle vision. And there was not a guy, like, right below me when I did eagle vision. So where the hell did he come from? I might approach from the other side this time. Who's this guy? He's, he's marked on the map. What is he? Or green. You mean, does that mean you're an ally? I don't know that guy. <laughs> don't want that guy to see me. Okay, now I can go. Oh no, go right, not left. See, the responsiveness there was off, because I was trying to go um, right, and he went left. Uh huh. Uh, what's the best way to approach this anyway? I just don't want to fuck this up again. Where well, they just spot me so quickly. Okay, that's too low, Anna. Come on. Yeah, there's like four dudes, man. It's four dudes. How am I going to get in there unseen? Well, I mean, I can do my best. I've done it before. Got the cutscene kill and all that. Don't know how I'm going to do this. I mean, he's not going to be in there forever. I think he eventually... Um, I did not mean to do that. Why did I to jump all the way down? I meant to jump down a little bit. Nope, he's out. Yep, he he got bored of waiting. Fuck. Up your ass. Where's Dushino? Up your fucking bum hole. All I give a shit. Yeah, he's got an S. Yeah, it's his escort. Okay, so he will come back. So it's worth waiting. Yeah, it's worth waiting a bit. You know. Go around because he'll just spot me and be a dick. Well, he'll spot me anyway because he's because he's a dick. Because <laughs> he's got eyes. How dare you have eyes and do your job? And someone else has spotted me. Great. How the fuck am I gonna do that? How the fuck am I gonna do that? No, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. It's like, how do I do this? How do I get in that fucking thing next to him? He keeps talking to me. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, I need to get a. He keeps talking to John, just throwing me off. Yeah, I need to get a better sword. This sword sucks. I don't know why I kept the sword, because it sucks. Where the hell is Duche now? I know. Like, why are you asking me? Not like I fucking know. This is getting absurd. Yeah, it is. It is getting absurd. Because I can't get you in that chamber. <laughs> what? How, why can't I block that attack? Ever. And they keep shooting me. This combat. Oh, God, I don't like it. I'm sorry. I don't dig it. <laughs> oh, dude. I have to telegraph that. Do I just kill him? I'm gonna kill him. I don't care. I'm done doing this properly because it doesn't fucking work. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, there. Because it's heavy. You can't, though. Very. That's an unblockable. Great. Good that I noticed that too late. Where the hell is Duchesneau? Yeah, where is Duchesneau? I don't know. It's really throwing me off every time he says that. That's unblockable. Why don't I see that coming? I'm in the balls. I keep getting fucked. <laughs> oh, Jesus fucking Christ, this is embarrassing. Like, I never play this bad. But is it, it's because I'm talking. <laughs> it's probably because I'm commenting. This throws me off because I get distracted on things I'm saying. Oh, fuck you, fat sir. Fucking poor job. Get fucked. 
I'm just gonna kill him, I don't care. He's gonna die. Or not, because he's gonna do a backstory. Fuck killing him properly. You're a dick. Or better yet, my fucking hidden blade up your, up your dick. Wait here. See that we're not disturbed. <laughs> oh, I... yeah. I, I'm i okay with the controller. I'm just fine with the controller. I'm here to see the king of beggars. I, I just don't like the combat much in this game, personally. Like, you don't see this happening in, in the other games I've played. Not really. It, it always went much better than that, to be fair. If I could lay my hands on him. It's, yeah, it's, I mean, I know you really like the well, combat, Beth, but what's so it's, important yeah, to I beg to differ, personally. You're right, monsieur. Too much of the king's champagne. See there? So that, yeah, so that's, you get to see what happened. As I shove my blade into his dick. Alright, loot him while I'm here. He's not going to need this anymore, whatever it is. A pendant. Alright, good. Don't trigger any alarms. I think it's a bit late for that. It's a bit fucking late for that, isn't it? I've alerted pretty much almost everyone, or at least everyone in that wing of the cathedral. Alright, let's just fucking delta. Jesus. That was fucking abysmal. Let's just get out of there. What was the smell on the roof? Oh my god. Oh, these are the fucking... What's it, the rift missions? For you, and they're close. Damn it. Can you open a server bridge? Hey, come on, it's me. Already on it. Couple of seconds. Initiate. He's We're opening himself. a server bridge. Find the portal and pass through before the suite finds you. Got it, go. Do you see it? They're hard to miss. Jumping from one Helix server to another should buy you a few more hours. If it doesn't, we're screwed. Well, we're not screwed. It's your initiate that gets the brunt. Deacon, Thanks, Sean. you're not helping. And yeah, it's Sean, not Deacon. We know who he is. Yeah, you have to go through these really quick. I remember one time it spawned me, like, miles away from the uh, portal, and it fucked me in the ass. And I, I literally could not reach it, <laughs> no matter what. Good game design. Because, yeah, it's I didn't actually know this, but there is, uh, like, a limit. There's, like, a big red border coming at you. Okay, let's, let's fucking get that quick. So can you see the red border? The, yeah, you can see it. I never there actually is. looked at Go. it previously. These parts are pretty cool. I like these parts. I remember one of them takes you to, what was it, World War One or World War Two? Arno just happens to just, you know, happen to end up there somehow. Like, not, you know, he's not even phased by it, that's the funny thing. Like, he doesn't just randomly tell like Pierre or, or I call him Belen. He doesn't just tell Belen like, "Hey, oi, mate, I was in fucking World War Two, innit? <laughs> you know, because they're fucking English accents in this game. Signals holding. Good. You're waiting outside the main simulation now. This will throw Abstergo off your trail for a while, but you'll also run into a lot of incomplete and corrupted code, which probably explains why the people here aren't quite here. Tom, seen shit. I've been, I'm in, in that fucking animus like for too long. Yeah, now this is Nabil the book, that's it. Maybe another time. Much nicer right now, in this time period, huh? Much nicer. Oh, fuck. No, not there. Okay, so not there. Now, Where's the underground? Fuck, it's there, quick. I know you play actions we completed, you have to tell me again and again. It's not like a check you play anymore. Alright, make sure there's no train gonna fucking hit me. meant to be going this way? I don't think so, because that's red. No, it's that way. Yep. Look for the convenient lights. Just 
just another day taking the tube, you know how it is. Well, I'm going, I'm, I'm taking quite a detour, as you can see. Thanks game, thanks for that. That tip. Oh shit. <laughs> Help me there, baby. Oh, fucking hustle, dude. Don't want to get hit by that. Yeah, no, that was a close fucking show, wasn't it? There you are. And you that found it. Good. Is that when they were building it? It's it was a pleasant to America. So there's no telling how it will disrupt the North America. I mean, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, isn't that how uh, Lady Liberty ended up there? Time limit? Can I just play it safe if I want to? It looks like you'll have to climb Lady Liberty. She must have bled through from another time period. The French should have shipped her off to the States by now. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, exactly. Where is where is that guy? Where's J yeah, he would know, wouldn't he? He would know. He's our lawmaster. I mean, like I say, him and I would make the perfect team. With my language skills and his, his history knowledge, we would make the perfect deal. Yeah, why can't we stay? Why couldn't we have just stayed? This France is much nicer. Found the siec. What end of the century? I think that means. Yeah, because it's because it was uh, the end of the nineteenth century there. Oh cool, we're back. Like it never happened. And we're back. Not everyone is so fortunate their first time through a bridge. Sometimes our initiates are trapped in the system, and we have no choice but to send someone like you in to rescue them. In fact, yes, there are lots of missions of to do this on. This is my way of introducing right it to now. you, even though you don't give a flying fuck about it. You, can you have to listen to me anyway. Rescue him. All right, back to work, initiate. He can get himself out. I don't care. Alright, where's the sink point? Might as well do that. They kept shoving the alarm bell in this area thing down my throat, so I might as well just say that. Even though there's no point in doing that whatsoever. <laughs> Guy into me. Guy's gone. I'm, I'm trying to dodge, but he's just spamming. I mean, don't get me wrong, the animations are sick. I just don't feel like the responsiveness is there for me. Most, yeah, most of the time. Like, that perfect power animation? Wicked. Love it. Dodge. I need to buy some medicine. Because, yeah, I'm out.
and get a better fucking sword. The sword is so bad. Like, these are level 2 enemies, and they're taking how many hits? Exactly. Like, when you're all maxed out, they take <laughs> a level 2 enemy, you just get one hit, it's barely that. You just scratch them and they die. And if you get, like, a really good weapon, you can, um, take out, you know, max level enemies in just, like, a single hit combo. Like, two hits, even. Because the, uh, extremists, wait, not extremists, the, uh, the brute enemies, they, they take a lot more hits. Okay, that didn't look scalable. Why did I even bother? Yeah, here. This looks scalable. <laughs> I wouldn't call it smoothness, Panther, but thank you. It's just, yeah. It isn't one of my main AC games, I guess. And you can, you're free to listen to me complain about jank. <laughs> like, with that mission. Jesus, how bad that was. Like, I hate myself for that. Because usually it goes so much better than that. You've seen my streams. But thank you. <laughs> I can always count on you to let me know I'm not doing terribly. Like, yeah, you always have the nicest things to say. I appreciate it. I do. Uh, yeah, up here, if I remember correctly. Okay, thanks. I, I will accept it. I will. Even though I didn't feel it just now, but thanks. Yeah, maybe I'll feel better if I upgrade my gear a bit. Maybe that's the thing, because I've still got the default gear. Because it looks so nice. Like, I, I was talking about this, how I, I just love Arno's default outfit. I wish I could, you know, transmog. I mean, you can do it as Shay, which, but I, I didn't wear it for that long, because I don't usually do the whole, you know, legacy outfit thing. But, because it's a little immersion breaking, but like, you know, why can't I just transmog his original outfit, as in Arno's original outfit? Like, transmog would have been so nice for, for that outfit, because you can technically transmog by equipping uh, the costumes, I believe they're called. For example, the McFarlane out assassin outfit thing, the fearless outfit. But I wish I could have done, done it with this, with his default outfit. His signature one. At least you can do it with the Master Assassin set. At least that. That's something. That's a lovely view, by the way. I, I should have mentioned how lovely that view is. Let's do that. Let's do that again. This time I'll actually appreciate it. Look at that. Oh, gorgeous. Easily, yeah, easily the best sync point in the whole game. Definitely. The frame rate struggles a bit there, but hey, whatever. What can you do? I mean, this isn't like a, yeah, <laughs> again, no point playing this on the PS5 as well, because there's no uh, upgraded version for this. Alright, I need to buy meds and change my gear. Do I have skills? Yeah, I, I have some to unlock. How do I unlock these again? Complete sequence 5. Yeah, sequence 5 unlocks a lot of good skills. It's coming back to me, you know? Alright, now I can actually use guns, which would be handy. It would help against other fuckers who use guns. Stealth. I really want double assassination. Like, why not, right? Might as well. It costs four skill points, but it's worth it. Let's go for that. We'd upgrade some health. Uh, yep. Alright. Weapon can wait. Let's just upgrade this stuff if we can. Okay, well that doesn't do anything. Do I have anything down here? Because sometimes there's stuff you have down here. Okay, not this time, because... Yeah. It's a nice little mask on that one. It's a certain memory that you get that from. Do you know what my favourite set was? The medieval one. Oh, dude, I loved it. I loved it so much. Dude. The medieval set was my jam, dude. I loved it. Jesus. That increases health a bit. Might as well. <laughs> wow, okay, bit bare chested. Prussian waistcoat. Are you sure it upgrades detection time? Are you sure? <laughs> 
because I was getting fucked stealth-wise. Jeez. <laughs> I'm doubting that one. Dude, you see? Like, what? Okay, why do I have this unlocked? Why? <laughs> it's like top-tier gear. Why do I have this unlocked? Should I take it? <laughs> like, why not? That's a nice Queerus. Is that how you pronounce that? Queerus? Chest plate? Medieval, my favorite, which I can, cannot afford. Like, I might as well equip that, right? Because look at the stats. Jesus. I don't know how I even have it. But yeah. Jeez. Okay, nothing unlocked down here. That's fine. La Tour d'Auvergne. Okay, that's still melee. Additional damage. That changes nothing. Didn't equip it anyway. That upgrades your range. Okay, more ammo. Why not? Can't go wrong with more ammo. You see, look, there's another one. I, I somehow already have the medieval belt. <laughs> yeah, for, for I mean, the belt anyway. And the military one. The military one, I remember, is great for, yeah, ammo. I remember using that. Might as well equip this. Like, why do I have it? I don't know. Don't ask me how. But, yeah. Might as well. Mm-hmm. They all upgrade running noise. They're all the same. Except... Uh, this one is best. Black Musketeer. Go, go for it. Go for it. Let's go Fearless. It's... Yeah, let's equip that. See, that's what I mean by transmog, you see? What's the full word? Transmogrification? Transmog for short. Transmog, sorry. But if I equip that, you see, it has a set outfit. It doesn't... And all the armor pieces are gone, which is fine. I might as well... Put these on. I'll equip this one for now. Unless Frank wants me to wear this, the McFarlane one. I mean, I'll do it if he asks. Because it is a nice one. Alright, now, weapons. What can I do here? Let's get that rapier. I want that rapier back, because at least its stats are better. I know it looks really, like, thick, but yeah, it has good stats. Rifles are nice. Let's go for pistols for now, though. Over under pistol. Pick him, Putnam. Yeah, they were. That was Israel Putnam's, yeah, pistol from AC3. These pistols are quite nice. Like, again, why do I have them unlocked? I don't know. Probably add-ons or something. Wait a minute. Parry? Really? You can't parry with a pistol. That's, that's, a, that's a trap stat. Why does it have parry? You can parry with a musket, with a rifle, but not a pistol. I don't know why that's a thing. Alright, let's use over-under for now, because I do like the look of it. And we'll upgrade it. Why not? Alright, I think I'm ready. I needed to take a minute just to go through the gear and make it better. So that I can, you know, not suck. Because <laughs> the gear actually matters here. Yeah, alright. Okay, where to? To the east. Yeah. Oh! Okay. That didn't do damage. Good. Alright, oh, guys, by the way, now that we're here, <laughs> I'm still extremely grateful about all the cheers you gave to this channel. So, you know, like, thank you again for doing that, all of you, because that's still sticking with me. It's not like it wouldn't. So, that was... I, I still feel really blessed that you guys wanted to do that. You don't have to. Seriously, I'm not saying you should. I'm just very grateful. You know, there's no way I'm taking that and not appreciating it, you know? Or not acknowledging it a few times. I mean, the cheer champs. You know who you are. Beth, Jake, Jake, big time. He broke the 10,000 mark. Jake, Beth, James, the cheer champs, the cheer trio. You know, you know who you are. I gave you all shoutouts for... Um, for New Year's Eve. Yeah, it wasn't Christmas Eve because I couldn't actually do it. So I did it for New Year's Eve.
I forgot to buy meds. I can probably buy them at the base, right? I remember there being a vendor in the actual hideout. You've just discovered the old assassin's den. Pretty sure I did a while ago. But thanks. Thanks again, game. That's like... I've been here, like, how many times? Four times. And it's like, hey, you've unlocked... Didn't I disable tutorials? I did. And yet it's still telling me this stuff. <laughs> okay, fine. Yep. Let me buy stuff. Oi, you. Godspeed, citizen. Yeah, Godspeed to you too. I need meds. Wait a minute, wasn't medicine, like, really expensive? Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm better off looting this. But I might as well buy a couple, alright? A couple. In case, you know, in a pinch, I need to heal. But yeah, you're better off looting it, I remember now. I always used to loot medicine because it was pretty expensive. It feels so dark in here compared to the actual city. All oh, cutscene. Parishioners found a body in Notre Dame today. The wags are already calling Don't him you the start. Puritan. Don't you start. I take it just as done. Just let me stop you Not there, entirely. please. <laughs> Siver had an accomplice the night of Monsieur de Lasserre's murder. He struck the killing blow. This raises troubling questions. What have you learned? He was working with a man called Le Roi des Tunes. The King of Beggars? Are you sure? You know him. Of him. The beggars pay him tribute. The man himself is a ghost. We've sent three assassins after him. The first two found no trace. The third never returned. I can find him. Hmm. Siver met with one of his lieutenants. I owe it to the memory of Monsieur de la Serre to uncover the truth. Perhaps you can at that. You've proved yourself a true assassin today. And a true assassin must have ah. the proper tools. Phantom Blade. So I the love this. The Blade and the smoke bombs were just what you had on hand then. I loved the Phantom Blade. This the was Phantom one of my favorite Blade. things about this game. A modest little update from the traditional Assassin's oh, Blade. Oh, dude, I loved this thing. Where you're going, you may not wish to get too close oh, to your like enemies. Oh, it's the coolest thing. Seriously. Now then. A wrist bow. Assassin. A little crossbow on your wrist. This council it. charges yeah. you to go to La Cour des Miracles. Find there the Templar agent, Le Roi des Tunes. Learn his secrets. And bring, and bring him in peace. peace. Rightly so, because he was, again, one of the guys who had a serious hand in killing De La Serre, so... Anyway, yeah, I saw Dishonored was being brought up earlier. You, you, you guys know Dowd, the master assassin from that game? He had a bow just... He had a wrist bow just like this. Well, not just like it, but extremely similar. And I loved it. I just love the design of the Phantom Blade or the wrist bow. My goodness. Love it. It's awesome. You are well, citizen? No, I don't need anything. Well, I should probably heal, right? Because I have no health. <sighs> uh, uh, sorry, loading screens make me yawn. <laughs> Every time. Like, I pick up, yeah. Do you know there is one game that made me allergic to loading screens? Do you know what it is? And Panther will know the answer, because we played it a lot together before. Uh, GTA 5. GTA Online. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, that game made me abhor loading screens. Like, seriously. <laughs> Don't even get me started. <clears throat> okay, that's a little confusing. It's L1 to aim the gun. That's going to take some getting used to, because it's always L2 in every game I play. Or I can just quick fire and just tap L1. Yeah, I know, Panther, I know. Yep. True pain. Oh, fuck. I, that was pathetic. That was pathetic. You know what, he can just, you know, he can leave. I fucked up so bad, I'm too embarrassed to get him again. But yeah, I know, Panther, pain, right? Like, dude. It was that game that made me hate loading screens, and we can all blame it on the fucking community behind that game. It's fucking shit. It's complete trash. Like, oh, let me just join a heist game and leave. And then it does the whole boom, boom, boom thing again. All the time. Oh, you want to see some satellite imagery while your asshole of a rando leaves the game? 
No, I don't want to do that. Oh, too bad, because we're going to make you sit through two whole minutes of that, which, you know, feels like much longer when, when you're sitting through it, like ten minutes. At times it was absurdly long, though. It wasn't just me saying that. But you know what? We know what I'm saying, Panther. Come on, you know, you know the struggle. I, I played with you. You know the struggle. Like, that game was absurd. Rockstar suck at online games anyway. Like, terrible. Do not follow their example. I mean, I'm not fucking around. I'm going to do missions, guys. I'm doing missions. So, yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Oh, that's uh, one of the enigmas which I will not touch with a 10-foot pole. I've done all those twice. And yes, I used Google to help. I will admit that. All of that just to get that fucking outfit, which is admittedly the best outfit in the whole game. Worth doing, mind you, but I don't want to do it all a third time. No thanks. I'm good. The frame rate's really staggering, though. Hopefully you guys don't mind that. I mean, don't worry, the further we get into this marathon, the better, because the frame rate will... <laughs> stuff like that will be a doozy. Jesus, that's, that's bad. Like, it really affects you, especially when you've been spoiled with the upgraded frame rates. I'm not even looking at the crowds, my goodness. Alright. Back on track. Wait, is there a sink point nearby? Probably a good idea. Yeah, no wonder, it's pretty far away. Let's, uh, sink that one. It's on the way to Fonciad, actually. To the north. Fruiterie? <laughs> Boulangerie? Do you fancy some bread? Some fruit? Because they got it right here. Oh, okay, well... Well, Panther, you're you're always awesome like that. I know you're 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 always lovely, so <laughs> But if it affects people, if, if if they don't like it, I totally get it. I mean I don't, I point it out. And I'm not even a nitpicker and I point it out. So yeah. <laughs> well, you could call me a nitpicker, depends on your perspective. For example, the way I ranted about the online portion of GTA Online, that's nitpicking. But it's justified nitpicking. Like, I'm not just whining about it. Like, we have reasons to point out why that was bad. This is, this is an example, you know? Or, you know, my problems with the combat of this game, especially when I compare it to AC Syndicate. Because I really preferred it in Syndicate. Like, you saw how much, how badly that went, that mission. Like, you will never see that happen in Syndicate when I'm playing it. Or any other game I've played. Like, at all. That I've streamed so far. Whatever, we're dropping it. <laughs> Unless, I mean, I guess James isn't here to, to remind me of how bad it was. So I'm just reminding myself in his stead. Dude, really? Assassinate, go on. Or not, just jump and then kill him. <laughs> Whatever, as long as he dies, I don't care. It's fine. Yeah, I oh know, I'm telling you to climb on that, but I guess you just want to stare at it. <laughs> I guess I need to go up here. Yeah, this is... What did you call it? La Cour de Miracle? Like the big beggar area? Look at the shanty town. I can't even jump. Na okay, I have to do it diagonally. There's the sink point. Gaining on it now. I mean, it's worth doing these. Saves trekking back when you unlock it as a fast travel point. You know? But yeah, because... I don't have, well, let's just say I don't have endless love for Unity. I mean, I think it's a good game, but I don't, I mean, I like Unity. I don't love it, but I like it. There are things I love about it, but overall, I like it. It's like a, for me, like, if we're grading it on, like, a gauge, S tier being the highest tier, and, like, F being the lowest, I would grade it, like, at C. Especially if we're doing it just based off of the series. Now, I would place no Assassin's Creed game below a D, because I love all the Assassin's Creed games, I really enjoy them, 
I like all of them. Even Liberation gets, you know, like a solid D plus for me. But like, yeah, I would give Unity honestly a solid C. Like a like a good you know, it's good. Like seventy out of hundred. Which is a good score. Like on Metacritic or something. I'm not saying you should <laughs> use Metacritic as an arbiter for all of your scores and judgments, but, you know, that's your business. Just, just any examples, or gauges. And yeah, I would, I guess I would play Syndicate like, like a, you know, B+. Plus. Like almost an A. Yeah, Kingdom of Beggars, that's it. This is the one. What's she looking at? Oh, you want arms, do you? Can I do that? No, I can't. For some s Hold on, no, guys. I don't like this. Look at this. For some reason, it's a skill to throw money. Like, surely I can just do that without assassin training. <laughs> yeah. Like, why do I need to learn a skill to, to give her money, for instance? <laughs> like, oh, sorry, beggar, I didn't learn the skill. You know, at school. Assassin school. I mean, learning stronger strikes. Oh, you two doing susnu? Get the fuck out of here. I can't even interrupt them. There we go. Alright. I am the PDA cop. The PDA police. Oh, so what am I looking for here? Just suspicious activity. Might as well blend. Please try to keep it cool and not mess it up. That would be ideal. That goes back. Do I want to go here? Lens spot on the bench. Mm, okay. Mm. Yep. Keep walking. Play it cool. Play it cool. Oh shit, that's not good. <laughs> okay, now I'm a little screwed. Nope. You get fucked. And sit down here like it never happened. Or don't, because Arno doesn't want to. Could be here. Yeah, just, just play it cool here. Like, dude, why didn't I sit down? It's clearly a spot where I can sit down. Whatever. I could double assassinate those two idiots. But probably not a nice idea. I would draw a lot of, a lot of attention. Yeah. I'll just try going around. Do you, mom, do you want me to turn the brightness up, guys, when it's a bit dark like this? Like, gloomy? Because I'm afraid it, 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 game, these games are at times too dark. Oh, shit. Nope, back up. I have to pass. They just act like chavs, and then they get really annoyed if you linger too long. Can I just double set them now? Yep, you bet. Cool. That works. Blend, you idiot. Blend. Why isn't blend working? Blend just doesn't work when you need it to. That's the problem. Yeah, I'm gonna turn it up because it's really dark. That's fine. No, I don't mind. Is it game options? Yeah. Uh, let's not go too crazy. That's... You can see the, uh, the gamma's a bit messed up, but at least you can see properly. That's fine. I'll turn it back down when we get to, you know, brighter spots. Okay, so why isn't the blend working? How do I get past them undetected then? Because the blend just doesn't work. You see? Look. I'm gonna blend and it doesn't work. There! Now it does. Good. Please keep working. It's weirdly inconsistent. It happened a lot earlier in the design, you know, when I was trying to get into the palace. Oh, it's here, it's here. This is where everyone's gathering. Look. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Look, 
Oh, it's that guy. He was the weird naked guy in the prison, wasn't he? I've got his name. Lovely, no. It's gone. The good folk of Paris give more money to crippled beggars than whole ones. Oh boy. Lord, it tunes season that bit of trivia. An opportunity to motivate his less successful employees. Pretty that fucked up, huh? Has lost a foot. Now you can charge in there, cause a great disturbance, and send all the rats scurrying back to their holes. Or follow you can the disappear rats. Indeed. Into the swarm and follow the rats back to their king. Either way, that man has lost a foot. What kind of dental stuff do they have the going on? Because they have such good teeth. And send them back to the streets. You, these guys would You're not have such nice teeth. I appreciate the advice. In this time not period yet. and the environment and everything. Who are you precisely? And why help me? <laughs> oh, I've had my eye on you for some time now. I feel it my sovereign duty to aid all those who suffered in cruelest bondage with me at the Bastille. And I have a vested interest in seeing the King of Rats caught in a trap. As to my name, I have the pleasure of being Donatien Alphonse Francois. That's Marquis it. Yeah, Marquis de Sade. That's it. That's Do a mouthful visit, though, so I'll just call you the side. Tired of chasing vermin. Oh, he's left a lovely trail. Yeah, I bet he has. Good luck. Either that, or someone had a really fucked up period. I'll go with the former, shall I? Because we saw the guy getting his legs sawed off. You don't seem worried. I know where the chimneys are. What chimneys? The ones his grace had put in when he took over down below. I'm gonna have to blend. Please blend. Thank you. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Oh shit, is he gonna come this way? No, he's going that way. Disenfranchised. Well, there he is. Lord, I will call liberty. Rather sooner than you think, I'm sure. How did he get there so quick? <laughs> Decide, I mean. Oh, he nearly saw me there. Should be careful. Fancy a drink, Baker. Do I know you? That's a no, then, huh? Or should I assassinate this guy as he comes through? He's not even going to get within reach, so probably not. Okay. I am the PDA police. You know I am. <laughs> I always do that. I can't help myself. I can't help myself. Whenever there's PDA, I'm like, Let's cut it out. Is it true what he did to Thierry? I remember the man's screams and how long they lasted. And that was for an accounting error. You're joking. I thought he'd skimmed off the tape or some such. Nope. He misplaced a one in a ledger. Right. Double time it is. What are they talking about? I didn't catch that. Oh, fuck that. I'll go around. Yeah, don't mind me. Nothing to see here. Nothing, it's not like there's a suspicious hooded man following you. No, not at all. Remind me to loot people for medicine. I'm not buying it, it's so expensive. Get him inside, quickly. Something doesn't feel right. Oh, thank you for the follow, Zaki44. I didn't see that until now. Thank you. Then toss them in the gutter and get yourselves inside. Don't 
And yeah, in case I need to remind people, in case I need to make it clear, just a reminder, um, I have the timer on, like followers only, for 30 minutes to put off bots and griefers. So, if that's, I know people have complained about it, but it's for, it's for the best. And for the safety of my channel. Because I've had some really annoying asshole griefers, so. I'm not going to jinx myself, hasn't happened for a while, but that doesn't mean it can't happen again. Like, all of a sudden. And I'd rather be safe than sorry. I mean, 30 minutes is not that bad, but, you know. Besides, or if you just want to lurk, like, I love lurkers, like, don't worry. I, do, I find it strange that people would not like lurkers on their stream, because I love lurkers. You know, it's like, I love lurkers as much as I love people who, you know, chat and engage. Best of both worlds, really. Like, the fact that you're here is already a boon, a uh, blessing, so. Alright, uh, I need to take this, I need to do this carefully. I'm gonna phantom blade this guy. Jumping on him is a mistake, because he's being watched by that guy. Bloody hell. Now I can probably jump on him. Or not, because I know he doesn't want to. Now he does. Uh-huh. Is there another guy over there? Nope, I think I'm good. I can now head to where that guy was, because that's my opening. If Arno wants to move to the right, which he does not. See what I mean about responsiveness, guys? It's not quite up to par. So, sometimes you... Do things you don't want to do. What's the order for it the happens. unfortunate in bed six? Horribly burned in a fire that killed his family and drove him mad. A burn job? Do you know how hard those are to get right without burning off the district to ash? <laughs> a few drops Good old Larson. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Can you scream a little quieter? Hey, leave him alone, dude. Can I stop him? Nope, I cannot. Not like I... I can push him away from him slowly. <laughs> there. You see, I've, I've saved him. I've saved him. What if I aim at him? I can just tell because there's no outline. It's going to waste a phantom blaze. I'm not even going to bother. I guess he's just using the power of telekinesis to further make him suffer. Not much I can do about that. I did what I could for my common, my fellow man. He does not have much of a chance against Arno. Shit. Arno's gonna kick your ass. Give me Le Roi des Tunes and I'll spare you your life. The Cockles! He's, He's a fucking cockles, scum, man. He gave him up pretty quick. I expected a stronger spine than yours. I didn't. What will your master say? Oh God! Not help me! Oh, he's back to... Let's push him away again. I'm, I'm pushing him away again, helping this poor guy. What are you doing to him anyway? What is that you're putting on his face? You suck. Like, wait, do I have cherry bombs here? Screw you. They call that a clinic. Yeah, I just realized it's their clinic. Some clinic. I'd rather die than be under their care. I use care loosely, by the way. Very loosely. Guess my job here is done for now. Yeah, again, I don't care about forcing shit. I couldn't give two fucks. Like, I get two assassin points anyway. Why would I give a shit about the forcing? And again, I've planned into these games you know, a lot of them twice over. Don't want to do it again. I've got total of... Se I, I mean, I've recently tweeted about it. I've got 73 plats. I, I think I'm okay, including this game. The only platinum, the only game I could not platinum, which still frustrates me to this day, was AC4. <laughs> because multiplayer trophies. Like, if you put multiplayer trophies and it's PvP, specifically, yeah, I'm not doing it. I... My PvP days are long gone, okay? That's when I was back in school being a tryhard kid. Like, I am way past that. I'm too old for that. I, I know I'm only 25, but I'm too old for that. <laughs> like, fuck that. Fuck. Fuck the tryhards. Fuck the exploiters. I'm good. 
I, I cannot stand PvP. The last PvP game I actually was into was For Honor. I still play it to this day off, like, PvE cooperatively. I love co-op, but not PvP. Forget it. That, it, that view is not exactly as nice as Notre Dame's, but hey. You work with what you've got. Oh yeah, you can see it from here. Over there to the... Like, southwest. Southeast, sorry. Uh, okay, back on track. I, see, I might as well fast travel, because I got that viewpoint from earlier. Oh yeah, I might keep the brightness a bit up, because we're still technically in this district of the beggars. Beggars Quarter. Underneath reminds me of Red Dead 2. Because why the fuck not? That's why. Alright, let me get up high, get a nice view of this mission. But yeah, what was I saying earlier? I'll just briefly return to a point I was discussing earlier. Because I don't particularly have a, too much love for this game, I will I will marathon it, yes. I will finish the game, but I won't, like, finish the game. I did that on my first AC marathon anyway, where I actually clocked this game fully for a second time. But, yeah, I, I won't be doing it this time. I just want to mostly get through it and then move on to Syndicate and enjoy that a lot more. And so on and so on, doing the whole series, even the spin-offs like Chronicles, that's also coming after Syndicate. So yeah, you guys have that to look forward to. Piss off, you lot! Yeah, this whole black box, they call it the black box, th the black box missions. Absolutely love it. I wish we'd have more of these in the series because it's one of the best things about this game is the black box missions. Air assassination. Stop on my fucking landing. Now, the opportunities here are pretty cool. Uh, you can cover these up and it'll smoke them out. Yeah, sabotage the chimneys. That will really help with the escape, I think, if I remember correctly. What are you doing? I'm looting here, can't you see? Have some fucking consideration, Mr. Monsieur. I got smoke bombs, nice, but I need medicine. And bullets, too. One time? I, I did this thing, yeah, one time? This isn't very French, is it? I mean, is this not Syndicate? <laughs> it sounds so damn English. <laughs> can't, cannot get over it, as Nubus pointed out. Yeah, I know, Panther, you're excited for China, which I am too, because that game was awesome. So good. I do I do miss them. I do. I would love that to play smoke them, them out. At least, yeah, I'll be using the new game Crossmode because I have progression from before. So, I will, by the way, speaking of which, after Valhalla and that bullshit with Ubisoft never add a new game plus to it, I will never take New Game Plus for granted ever again though. Ever. I used to I used to take it for granted. Sometimes I even ignored New Game Plus at times. Like, oh I don't need to New Game Plus. Well now I'll I will always New Game Plus everything. You understand? Because yeah, they never put them all hard on me either. I am going to New Game Plus the fuck out of every game, every chance I get. 
so uh, yeah, that's <laughs> just putting just putting that out there. Okay, I'm I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make the most out of New Game Plus so much. Whenever it's yeah, there we go. Meds got some drugs, legal drugs. I can assure you. Don't worry. There's more drugs. Fantastic. How much? How much is that? Four. That's brilliant. Four's a great number of meds to have on hand. I've got lockpicks too. It's worth looting them. Really worth looting them. <laughs> and you get it for free. It's like so much money at the vendor. You're not yeah, come on then. Come at me. Oh. Almost dodged too early. Oh, that's all it. Yeah. Why do I still do such little damage? They're not taking much damage. Oh, Jesus. A smoke bomb. I don't give up. I would just miss terribly there. Oh, dodge. Yep. I get shot. Oh, gosh. Okay, that big guy hit me. At least I'm getting used to the combat a bit more now. I'm getting the hang of it a bit more because it was so foreign to me after playing all these different games, especially in games in the series. I did dodge there, but it didn't roll. That's not my fault. I mean, this sword's not bad, but I still need better than this. <laughs> Again, elite training, beautiful. Yeah, tell them that at parties, and you'll, you'll get all the pussy. Yep, got more meds, perfect. No, oh, you're still alive, let's fix that. Because if you don't actually finish them in a combo, they'll still be alive. I mean, you are pretty much putting them out of their fucking misery, so... Stab in the dick. You have more meds on you? Huh? Yep, you do. Good. I'm gonna make a habit of that, that's for damn sure. There's two guards over there, I think I'll go this way. Because who knows how many more around that corner. I mean, I had beggars assistance from that opportunity, but they weren't exactly very helpful. God damn. That's a right way. Let's get out of here. What do you yeah, it's because I sabotaged the, Some uh, dug too deep. Chimneys. Through into the sewer. Let's get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Do that. Because I need to get uh, in there. I should get back anyway. Yeah, you should. Oh, I'm tired of waiting. You guys are slow. Oh. Could have just kept on moving, would have been alive. He saw nothing. You gutless minnow! I'll rearrange your bloody spine! He's Come talking here. to himself. He's talking to himself. He saw nothing. I can't whistle! Come on! I can't just lure him over with a fucking whistle. I don't. I hate it. I wanted to move too far to the right and then he saw him. I wanted to quickly move to the left to do an assassination, but never mind. Nope, nope don't spam because that would get me in trouble. By the way, I hope you guys can't hear me mashing the buttons on my controller when I'm doing combos and stuff. I'm not mashing, but it might sound like I am. Because <laughs> I'm not much of a masher unless the game says mash the fucking button. What's happened? The beggars, they're rioting all throughout the district. You men, with me. Sometimes it's nice to do a quick scan before you go balls deep. I remember this mission having a cool soundtrack on the way out, by the way. And you'll get used to that, guys. If you're new to this channel, <laughs> you'll get used to it. Where I always talk about how important soundtracks are, because they really are to me. I'm not the only one, though, because I know a lot of people, um, yeah, that on this channel, on this community, you also appreciate it. In our Discord server, we even have our own soundtrack channel. I mean, come on. 
Which I, which I need to use a bit more. I know I've been neglecting it a little bit. 2023 has been a bit of a rocky start for me, so bear with me, guys. Not hearing it. Sorry, Panther, what did you say that about? I, I would like to... Sorry. I don't know what you responded to when you said you're not hearing it. Feel free to remind me if, if you can. Thanks. Because I, I could talk for England. I know. I talk out of... I talk out of my ass when nothing's going on in the chat, so don't mind me. <laughs> it's just my way of thinking out loud. I mean, guys, this mission is going much better than the last one, right? Oh, mashing buttons. Good. Thank you. Glad to hear that. Very glad to hear that. That you can't hear me mashing or pressing buttons a lot, because I don't want you to hear that. Then I'll have to turn the mic volume down. But you guys have assured me that it sounds fine, so that's good. What was I saying? Yes, that the mission is going much better now than than before. Yeah. Than the last one. Like, I probably just got really fucking unlucky. Because uh, I'm clearly not sucking so much here. reports that an assassin is nearby and that you are his intended target. The worm has grown a spine. And now he's a snake. Now he's a snake. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Fuck the two. time I knew that much. This is far too soon. Oh, wait, my lord. The, the, as too as soon? Are, what do you expect? Well connected. But We're assassins. We have the advantage now, don't we? Muster the guard and lead the hunt for this assassin. Bring me his head. I'll bring you yours instead. Let's do this. All right, I'm ready. But my lord. Upper men are all dealing with uprisings among the beggars. Thanks to me. Yeah, they have less visibility here, which is great. And it helps with the escape too, a lot. But yeah, as I was saying as well, I... Oh look, they have a lot of like dead guards here, so they've clearly been busy. Um, yeah, there's some pretty cool soundtracks uh, towards the end of this mission. When you assassinate Le, um, Le Croix de Thune, when you assassinate him. Yeah, it's a pretty cool soundtrack on the way out. I remember I was like, I have to have the soundtrack on my phone. And I did, I got it. Forgot the name of it though. But yeah, it's been a while. Might as well smoke bomb this. Quite a lot of them. That smoke bomb is useless. Okay, so in a lot of games in this series, you smoke bomb and it goes below you while you're on a perch. Not in this game, it stays on the perch. That's great. That's very useful. Oh, I tried to parry an unblockable attack. That's what I get. Why am I still on the ground? But like, guys, I just need to bring something up. Uh, a game I've played recently, I even share played it with Panther, where she was watching me. Um, Spider-Man Miles Morales. I mean, the combat in the Spider-Man games, you know, Marvel Spider-Man and Miles Morales. So damn smooth. That's the kind of combat smoothness that I want in my games. I mean, I love Assassin's Creed to death, but, you know, it, it doesn't quite live up to that. Or go to Sushimus, quite frankly. Embarrassing. Yeah, you said it, on it. But yeah, that's. I was just bringing that up as examples. And Panther, I know you really enjoyed watching me play that, because that was a really fun time for me too. And I was playing for it blind with you, and that was a good time, but... Just as an example, that game, those games have amazing combat. Hold like, seriously. Position, yeah, top tier smoothness. Like, the fluidity is beautiful. Okay, now, guys. Do you remember they mentioned assassins that they sent here that never came back? Look closely. That's not Latouche anymore. He's put... Uh, I, I don't know if he's still alive, but he's put the... Uh, let's say corpse of an assassin on his throne thing and it's a setup they're gonna ambush me because you know I don't know if I said Le Roi de Thune yeah Le Roi de Thune put his corpse there on his own throne to set me up for an ambush but yeah I'm gonna yeah like we're not that stupid let's not fall for that can I just quick shot him or there yeah make it a headshot just to be sure He's like, he's like waiting up top with a sniper, isn't he? There, yeah, he's up there. 
I don't know if I can safely peek my head through here. There's a yeah, there's a guy over there. Ah, uh, this isn't good. I can't go out that way. Let's try another direction. It's not exactly ideal because I'd still be really exposed. Maybe through here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Here's a good point of entry. Look. This is more like it. There's a sniper there. Yeah. Hadadun is on the other side of this place. He will see me though if I jump here. So that might be a problem. But I'm not sure there's another way that's better than this. So I'm going for it. See? He's going to spot me. But I don't care. This is as good as it gets. Let's go. Jump on him! Damn it, it doesn't assassinate him because it's not stealthy. Heal. Because that nearly killed me. Oh, good. That could have gone much worse, to be fair. Yes, yeah, stab the ground. That's that's it. Stab the fucking ground. My subjects have eyes good one, everywhere, Honor. my lord. I offer their knowledge to the service of the Order. What knowledge could a king of the gutters offer us? Oh, the he intrigues turned of him down. He got salty. Here we go. The intrigues of rats. Pompous fool. If I could lay my hands on him. My master would be pleased to arrange that. Brother. Oh, there it is. That signature weapon. The murder weapon. Look at it. You're right, monsieur. And it's poison, by the way. The king's champagne. Sibir, come away. Poison tip. It is done. Delacere is dead. So we've got those two now. And yeah, we see someone ordered it, so we haven't exactly got the Heaven Snake yet. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. While the getting's good. Not that way. Yeah, this is a soundtrack that I absolutely loved. It's really cool. Like, yeah, like, where, why did the soundtrack get so good on the way out? I don't know. It had a bit of a Ezio's Family vibe in there, too, which is pretty nice. When done properly, it is nice. Let me turn the... Oh, I can't do it now. The brightness needs to go down a bit. You can see the, the grainy effect is a bit strong. The gamma. Don't know why that's there, though. It's, it's strange. But the such a grain going on. Is that like film grain? Because I always turn that off when it's an option. Ah, you're just in time for the commencement of my reign. Uh, this Your fucking reign. day. As long as there's a court in Iraq, you must have a roi d'etude. Since there seemed to be a vacancy, 
I stepped in. With remarkable speed, the body's not yet cold. I may have set things in motion a trifle early. Say, when you first arrived at La Cour des Miracles, you used me. Your target is dead. We used one another. Quite a kingdom you've inherited. It is, isn't it? So, is justice served? Are the dead avenged? Is your soul soothed, all that rot? Rot is a fine description. Every time I think I'm getting close to the truth, it seems another layer of filth presents itself. <gasps> Conspiracy, intrigue, the rapidly thickening plot. Add some bestiality and a lecherous priest, and I say you have the beginnings of a beautiful novel. I'd settle for a solid lead. So young, and yet so serious. Well, best of luck to you. You have, I trust, looked into this. Where did you get that? One of my newly loyal subjects brought it to me as a token of esteem, as it were. It's a curious piece. I know of only one silversmith who works metal like this. A blade of this make killed Monsieur de la Serre. I can only assume you knew this already. Why didn't you say? Well, where would man be if he never had to ask questions? If everything he could ever want to know was simply handed to him, he might no longer think to ask questions. Or he might accomplish a great deal more unburdened by ignorance. Perhaps. The smith's name is François Thomas Germain. You'll find his shop near the Isle. Thank you. Mon chance. Getting himself some snoo snoo there while he can. She looks like really fucked up as well, like she's not right in the head. So, uh, I don't know, maybe lay off her if you're a gentleman, but you clearly aren't, so... I don't know, go right ahead then, you piece of shit. <laughs> That's how the world works. Alright. Let's turn the brightness down a little, because the grain was getting a bit strong in that cutting. But, good of Panther to ask for it to be turned up, though. So, yeah. Let's leave it at 6 for now. Solid 6. <clears throat> Wait, hold on. What are those blue chests, anyway? They're nomad chests. Okay. What I definitely need to loot is the, um... Fuck, what are they called? Give me one second. Uh, ugh, God damn it! you must be on the ground. Suck me off. <laughs> uh, okay. Just get off the fucking thing. Alright, let's check that again. Equipment... Yeah, outfits, that's it. Uh... Initiate chests. I really want Shay's outfit, so... <laughs> I'm gonna be keeping an eye out for that one. Okay, and I might use the McFarlane one eventually, because it does look nice, as Frank suggested. Alright, where am I going now? The uh, Les Halles, I believe he said. Oh, that's the next mission, to just explore the Café d'Etre? Okay. I thought I was going to go after the silversmith, but I guess Arno wants a coffee. Fine, I'll indulge. I mean, as a coffee nut myself, I can only approve. I'm going to sink that point while I'm here, and then... Then go to the cafe. Oh, come here, Lily Lever. I can hear them talking down there. Fucking ruffians. How dare they speak like such chavs. Only cultured people here in this community, don't you know? Oh my god, this is a. Uh... Oh shit, this is it. This, oh, this is the place. Oh my, it's where, um, yeah, the assassin assault happened in that prologue mission where we played as Jack Demolay's advisor. It's the, yeah, it's the temple. Oh, it's one of our favourite places in this game. Definitely, definitely. Okay, I cannot get spotted here because they will fuck me up because they're really high level. So I cannot get spotted.
I just want to like slip past them or just discreetly assassinate them. Like this. That's it. You two stare at the wall. Thank you very much. You, you two keep doing that. That's good for me. Yeah, don't you remember? Panther, you, you saw this. This is where we did the first part of the game. With Jack de Malay. Well, we weren't playing as him, but you know what I mean. And this is, um, okay, slight spoilers, but this is sort of where the game ends, too, which is pretty poetic. It's the beginning and the end. So, yeah. And you saw in the, um, in the cutscene, in the first, in the, pro shall, shall we say prologue? The prologue intro part. Oh, that's it. Grab onto thin air. In the prologue, um, Jacques de Malay mission, he buried the Sword of Eden in that tomb and everything, which is why we come here at the end of the game. So that's some fact dropping for you, and just explain why I like this location so much. And I can finally sink it. Good. Now that's a view. I like that view. I know it's dark, but don't care. It's fine. Oh, you can see the drawbridge there and everything. Yep. And that's the crypt down there. I don't think I can fast travel from a restricted area, so let's get out of there first. And, oh, there's an initiate chest. Uh, I'm gonna loot it because that's important. Like I already pointed out, it might have Shay's outfit. <laughs> and I'm gonna equip it sometime soon when I unlock it. Not right now, because I'm using the Fearless outfit, but, you know, eventually. Yeah, it says gold ones. Alright, give me that outfit, whatever one it is. Let's see. If it's Shay's core map, if it's Shay's outfit, I'm gonna... Oh, it's Con! Oh, yes! It's Connor's. The next best thing. Fantastic. You see, I told you they're worth doing. I got Connor's outfit. I might actually use that. Why not? Eventually, yeah. I like to space out the outfits I use, but... It's great that I have Connor's. That's, yeah. The next best thing after Shay's for me. Oh yeah, I can't fast travel to the cafe yet. I need to unlock it, which is probably what this mission's for. But yeah. Yeah, I got Connor's outfit. You, you gotta loot those chests, man. You gotta loot those chests. Exactly. I mean, yeah, I'll be honest with you. I... You may have noticed that when I was marathoning this game. I don't tend to use legacy outfits. For example, you'll never see me using Ezio's outfit for Arno or, or anything, but or for Connor especially, because I don't think they look very good in those outfits. It doesn't work for me, and it ruins the immersion just a little bit. Um, but sometimes I make exceptions, like, yeah, with Shay, I, I would use Connor's outfit because they're my two favorite characters, and to be fair... You know how Shay has that bandana over his face whenever there's a smoke, whenever there's smoke around. Whenever he would put the bandana on with Connor's outfit, it looked fucking sick. Connor's outfit with the bandana looked amazing. It looked so intimidating. I loved it. So I was like, yeah, okay, I'll use that for a bit with him at least, because it looks sick as well. I don't know if I feel. I don't like the idea, but I might just use it if I fucking feel like it, and if I don't have other outfits that I can use. Alternatively, that look any better, then I'll probably do that. I don't want to just jump off like an idiot. Why the fuck is Arno stuck? Okay, get, get out of there. Just jump down. Just jump. Just drop down carefully. Control descent. There you go, boy. All right. Uh, where's the bridge? Because there's a bridge. Yeah, it's over there. Okay. Just couldn't see it. Let's get there, like, let's get there, like, civilized people. Hey, listen to me. Uh, All I these bullies. Oh, Gotta stop to the bullying. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> Look at it. 
<laughs> Look at this guy. Oh, <laughs> he's like a dog who's got worms. <laughs> he was just sliding across with his ass. <laughs> that was great. That was fucking funny. I loved seeing that. I was like, I have to stop and see this. My goodness. The hell. <laughs> that was hilarious. I just saw an initiate chest in this place, by the way. Just before it blacked out. I wonder what that would be. Yes, I would Something like I a ma macchiato, please. What is this place? Uh, I it take it with milk and sugar. One spoon sugar. Less flashy than the Saint Chapelle entrance, but we own the building. Used to be part of our intelligence. I see no one at the actual the place has service counter. Times. You might want to change that. How can I, I, I need coffee. I'll keep an ear out for any <laughs> opportunities that come up. Yeah, you exactly. Might also speak to the intendant <laughs> I know. About renovating the building. I so never saw that though. Exactly like this prick sliding his ass along the street. Any revenues the cafe generates are yours. <laughs> you might want to check that fit. butt out, dude. The money is you might have worms like the like the dogs the do. And the more improvements you make, the more revenue. Quite. Indeed. You might also That's how this works. I might not bother with this though. Into other districts will pay dividends. Merci. And they'll here. Which outfit does this unlock? I imagine it's... Oh, don't tell me it's Edwards. I think it's Edwards. If I, if it's Edwards, I'm going to actually pat myself on the back for remembering that. Yep, it's Edwards. <laughs> I remember. I was like, oh, it's one of my least favorite legacy outfits. And yes, Edward is one of my least favorite characters out of the lot. Hate on me if you will. I don't care. Like, compared to the other characters, he's inferior for me. Because that's how I remember. I was like, oh, it's Edwards. Because <laughs> naturally, naturally the easiest legacy outfit would be the one that's right next to your fucking nerve center, right? <laughs> okay, let's get back on track with the silversmith thing. Because that's obviously important. Yeah, oh, it did, did it? Yeah, the, the worm thing. It didn't, it hasn't happened to me much at all. That's, that was the first time I saw that, where he was sitting down. <laughs> yeah, but I guess it happened to you more. Okay. Oh, no. Hello. <laughs> no, I remember that. He's, like, so firm when he says, Hello, Arno. Hello. It's like, it's like he really wants me to stop and talk to him. It's not like a, oh, Arno, hello, what's up? How are you doing? It's like, Arno, hello, I'm talking to you. <laughs> uh. Council report, one star difficulty. I just need good speech. You look terrible. For months, I have been wrangling the Brotherhood, the National Assembly... And the king. Taken all together, they have the political acumen of an especially stupid village council. I believe that excuses my appearance, young man. I meant no disrespect, mentor. I am only concerned. Forget me, Arlo. Weep for France. But enough politics. I hope you have happier news. What of Lord de Lassire's murderers? The king of beggars is dead. He was carrying this. The fuck? He's holding his pistol. You mean... Wait. Oh, he actually... I thought that was a bug. You I thought he meant it. to... <laughs> do no one any good mouldering in a forgotten crypt. I already had a gun. Carry it with her. That pistol looks so Thank basic. You. I already have a I better will. one. I thought no he was mission. gonna... Oh, I thought that was a bug. The King of Beggars and Sivere were only pawns in a larger game. Someone sent them after Monsieur de la Serre. Templars do nothing simply, do they? Do you have anything solid on this mysterious chest? Well, neither player? do assassins. The only lead I have is the instrument that killed de la Serre. A pin fashioned by a silversmith named Germain. But how he's involved, I can't yet say. It seems your course is clear. Find the silversmith, learn what part he plays.
Yeah, simple simple enough. I remember the silversmith well enough. I am not going to spoil who he is or anything like that. In case you haven't seen this before and you're watching it for the first time. All right, my friend. Let me see what you said, Panther. The funniest glitch you've had was when Arno's sword got stuck in a man at the street or the man... <laughs> that sounds hilarious. So it got stuck and what? He like took you skating along the street with the sword in him. Is that is that what happened? That does sound pretty funny. A pretty annoying glitch that my friend had. I didn't have it, funnily enough, but my friend Jacob, he was playing with me, and he decided that this game should be called just Creed. Not Assassin's Creed, just Creed. Do you know why? Because he couldn't assassinate anyone. That was the bug. He couldn't attack or assassinate anyone. We were in fight, and he was just there, just walking around. He couldn't fight anything. That was one I remember pretty well, and he was like, this game is just Creed, it's not Assassin's Creed. Because he can't assassinate anyone, that's the joke. But yeah. <laughs> that's a, I mean, that's a more frustrating one than a funny one, to be honest. The one you described sounds funnier. <laughs> I can imagine, it was that funny. Yeah, your, your bug with the skating... <laughs> the sword was stuck in his, his thing. That sounds hilarious. I, I would love to see that glitch for myself. To experience it. If, it seems like I didn't get that many bugs with Unity. I didn't. A lot of people... And I did play it on console. It was worse on PC. But but you played on... I believe you played on PC. That's probably why, that's probably why you saw it. Because I know you're a console main like me. But I remember you saying that you played on PC. This, this game. But yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, that, that does sound pretty funny. That's probably why I don't see glitches like that, because it wasn't as bad on console. That's some really nice parkour action there. Very nice. Well, do you know what? I am happy about one thing, okay? Oh, sorry guys, don't mind me. I'm happy about one thing at least. Mm. And that's, um... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was doing much better. I don't know what happened with that mission with Sivir. It just got so fucked up. And... Like, I just got... I clearly just got really unlucky. I clearly just got really unlucky. Like, come on. You saw that. There was not much I could do ag against that bullshit. And, yeah, because the combat isn't entirely to my liking with this game but that mission where we had to assassinate Juan de Thun and follow La Touche that was going much better that was going way better so I'm at least pleased about that because that was so much better like I actually really enjoyed that and I felt like it went better because I'm always very self-conscious about my gameplay and how that goes why are you on the fucking thing I'm always very self-conscious about yeah my gameplay always because I take a lot of pride in my gameplay, I... Oh, that's nice. I take a lot of pride in my gameplay and, and that stuff. And, uh, yeah, th I I hated how that mission went. It, it boiled my blood. I was so I was about to have a meltdown live on stream. <laughs> but, yeah. But yeah, at least the momentum got so much better. It was just that one fucking mission. I'm going to try my best to erase it from my fucking memory. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Went the other way. Sorry, guys. Ugh, that was... <laughs> felt like death. Drank badly. <coughs> yeah. That's what I get for multitasking. Hmm. Felt like I just choked my throat out. <laughs> okay, next mission is not that far away. Yeah, because I was coming here on my way. <laughs> Yeah.
Is that a safe jump? I don't want it to end up like last time. What is that guy doing? He's walk. Yeah, you keep. You show that wall who's boss. You keep walking up against that wall. You're that stupid. I have to kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm putting out your fucking misery. I didn't do a double, but that's okay. I like the staggering strike. It's pretty cool. Yeah, you guys just enjoy the show. That's fine. You enjoy the show. Ah, that gargle is spot on. All right, let's loot that chest. The main reason why I actually came here. Like, that's what surprised me a bit. I mean, hold on a fucking minute. Like, why was he so, like, blown away? Like, oh, Le Roi de Thune was, was carrying this, and he showed the gun, the pistol. Was it? It was this one, wasn't it? It was this pistol, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. It, it was not that one, it wasn't plated. It was the it was the common shitty pistol. <laughs> like I already have this a double barrel pistol. Why do I care so much about what? And it's like oh he's a Templar and he's carrying a pistol. Like like what? I didn't understand that delivery whatsoever. Of course he's gonna have a fucking pistol. It's like when you kill an assassin, and it's like he was carrying this and he's, he pulls out a fucking hidden blade. I was like, dude, they, that's their signature weapon. They all use hidden blades. Or like, oh, he was carrying this and he shows a fucking sword. Like, dude, they all use weapons like this. <laughs> like, ev almost every fucking enemy in this game has a gun. So why were they so... I did not understand. I was like, is that a bug? Why is the pistol so special? That was funny. It was funny. It was funny. <clears throat> Oh, here we go. This is the one. The silversmith. Let's do it. Let's start navigating this proverbial fucked up conspiracy. Well, that's not suspicious, is it? He's quite heavily guarded, indeed. Yeah. That's going to be a slight problem. What's the best way in? I already see a good way in, that's the lift on the left. They got plenty of snipers, so watch out. I, I don't remember everything about these games, guys. I know, I, I, I never, the only game I've streamed blind is Kingdom Come Deliverance. Which is a, a hallmark game for me. But, yeah, no, I don't remember everything. Like, I'm not actually, it's not like I'm pretending to be like, oh look, a good entrance to the left. I wouldn't remember this lift here. I didn't even need it anyway, because I was a rope, so whatever. But like, it's just to prove that I'm not being disingenuous. Okay. Might have to Phantom Blade that sniper, because if I jump on him, they'll just spot me. Like, how do you do? Uh, Arno, do you want to use the blade? Or not? Please? He did it that time, he didn't want to do it last time. Okay, so that was nice and discreet. I might berserk the big guy. And he'll cause a ruckus, and that'll give me a nice way in without having to fight my way through. Oh, and I didn't even notice this, but yeah, driving Brutes Berserk is an optional objective, so that's cool. I can't even lockpick doors, though, so that's not going to happen. It's not like I care. Like I've pointed out, I, I, I'm at that point where I cannot give a fine fuck about optional objectives. Wow, there's a lot of guys coming to kill him. Dude, it's one guy. It's one fucking guy. What's, what's the problem? Why do you need a whole army? To kill him. I've made things worse. I've made things worse. I've made things much worse. I don't know the way in. Oh, there's a window. Let's do this now while they're all busy. <laughs> oh, are they going to notice me? <laughs> Your comment. But look at that. I didn't make things worse. Look at them all gathering. Look. All for one guy? Do they care that much about him? Hello. How do you do? I'm, I was just having a nice stroll around your mansion. But like, I... <laughs> so many of them gathered for what? <laughs> that is not normal. They were all just bum-rushing this guy. Okay, I need to move. They're gonna come spot me. Oh god, hide. Just hide. They're gonna see the body. That was hilarious. So many of them. Just for one guy. 
they're, they're all like in single file. <laughs> Gosh, you guys aren't even like you're meant to split up to guard the place, not <laughs> not queue up like it's a tour. Uh, but yeah, what did you say, Panther? Your comment made me chuckle. That I feel like I have to. <laughs> you're so right. No, I'm pinning your comment. I'm pinning that comment. I'm pinning that comment. I do. It's so true. You're so spot on. It's so true. I always have to be like, um, Arno, can you please do this? Arno, can you please, pretty please do that? Every time. Because he doesn't do it. The responsiveness is not really there. I'm sorry. It isn't. It kind of sucks. Like, yeah, it, it kind of works most of the time, but at at other times it definitely doesn't. Can I just unlock the lock picking, please? Let's just unlock it now, because I really need it. Yep. <laughs> Apprentice locksmith, there we go. I need to get through that door. Oh! What? That's why I couldn't sit down! Oh, it's a fucking skill. Are you kidding? Again, I need to learn a skill to sit on a bench. <laughs> I can't get over that. Like, there are some skills here that just don't make sense. Like, to throw money at people and to sit on a fucking bench. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It's hilarious. I love it. I love it. Like, the locksmith one makes sense. The, the roll recovery makes sense. The double assassinations make sense. The upgraded health makes sense. Like, all these skills make sense, but there's a couple that just don't. It's hilarious. Like, in order for me to plant my ass on a fucking bench, I have to learn a skill. It's hilarious. What can I say? Oh, boom. First time's the charm, isn't it? <laughs> I can't get over that. It's funny. Okay, I'm sorry. It's funny. I'm sorry that it's so funny. It's comical. Alright. Enough getting distracted on that, you know, feature. Should I lure them over with a cherry bomb? That might work. That might work. Yeah. <clears throat> Don't go too far over there. I won't be able to reach you. You're not close enough. And your buddy's there too. Oh, jeez. Fuck it. <laughs> Yeah, he got too far. He didn't come close enough. I can lockpick through here. I don't think you can carry bodies in this game, by the way. I don't think you can do that in this game or Syndicate. Oh, jeez. No. 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 Syndicate. I just... Uh... Not as stealthy as I'd like in the end, after all. <laughs> Bastard. But no, seriously, I, no, I, I can't get over it. I can't get over it. It's funny. I have to learn a skill to sit on a bench. <laughs> I'm still thinking about that. To, to be an assassin, to, to sit on a bench, you need assassin training. It's hilarious. I love it. Like, dude, I love Assassin's Creed to death, but I, yeah, I will keep bringing that up. <laughs> Alright, where the fuck am I going? Because I, I think I went the wrong way this whole time. I think I should have been going the other way. Because I was just trying to get away from that whole commotion when they were all lining up to kill their friend. No, I want the Berserk Blade. That's it. Please get close. Nope, they never get close enough. Oh, damn. No. Because if I kill him now, his friend will see. So, no. He pissed off in a hurry. You're not looking properly. I'm in there. Check here. Come on. Or don't, because fuck you. Was like his ass. That will complete the option objective at least. That's cool. Yeah. 
Kill your friend. Kill your friend. That's it. Good boy. You may die now from the poison or not. Do they like die eventually or do they just go around fucking shit up? He's mad. Yeah, I think he's dying now. Okay, yeah, they do die. Oh, dude there. Might as well kill him. Nope, he's a sniper. He's going to stay right where he is, unfortunately. <clears throat> They're all level 1, so I can unlock them, no problem. They're like easy shit locks. It's like the equivalent of very easy or easy locks in a Fallout game or something. Germain, the silversmith. <coughs> Thank God. They've been holding me for months. Please, get me out of here. First, I need to know about this. No time. I'll tell you all I know once we're away. But we must leave before the guards return. Fine, let's go. No! They'll be watching the front entrance. We'll have to go downstairs and across. Follow me then, and stay quiet. So now we're going to make sure we get out in one piece. Is there another way out or is it just through there? Yeah, I think it's just through here. You see, at least I look for another way out. At least I try. What the fuck? Apparently I'm a Jedi. Okay. I'm apparently a fucking Jedi. Christ! Who's <laughs> taking us down? That was sneaky. That was very sneaky. I'm gonna get a cover kill, just watch. Come on! Oh closer! You did dick. he make a sharp turn somewhere? Yeah! Down here. Which you didn't see. And you don't care about your dead friends. You're selfish. Best we move on. Yes. Alright, jump on this prick. Yeah. That didn't get me spotted. I'm actually surprised. Wait. At, at least not for now. This guy. Oh. This guy has a brain. Why is it so muffled? That. Why is it so muffled? It sounds fucked up somehow. What the hell is with the sound? <laughs> it's weird. Another new bug. There's meant to be a soundtrack, and there isn't. In this marathon, the soundtracks have really, really messed me up. As in, not working properly, and pissing me off with that. I would reload a checkpoint, but it's been going pretty well, so I'd rather not. Get those two and finish him off. Alright. Follow me. As you say. Wait here. I don't have any fucking ammo. It's gonna be a problem for the next there. part. I need ammo for this next part. Hey, Plenty of it. Coming after Jack. Oh, he didn't see me. Yeah. Not good. Damn it! I almost got away with that. I almost bamboozled the fuckers. That's a sniper. Sniper's usually pretty weak, unlike this guy. Yeah, they're resistant to shoulder barges. Good to know. Do not shoulder barge those guys because they'll just follow me. Because they're thick with, with a double C. This guy died weirdly. All right. Keep one eye to the roofs. They often post sentries there as well. 
Just how important are you as a prisoner? Yeah, ex that's the question, Anna. Exactly. I was. Yeah, where's the soundtrack? It's still annoying that there's no soundtrack. Ugh. Whatever. I'm done. I'm done fixing this, this, this series' problems. <laughs> I'm so done. AC3 had me doing that all the time. That's how we do it in Paris. In the Parisian Brotherhood. Germain, oh shit! The they were hiding. Oh shit! That was a fucking fatal blow. Foolish, let the silversmith go. Stay back. <laughs> hey, he's done that before, hasn't he? What have I done? Only what you had to. Come, we must go. Arno's being played. I'm just, I'm just gonna say, Arno's being played. He's being played like so bad. Thank you, my friend. You've done me a great service today. Perhaps you can return the favor. Yes, of course. May I? I made the first some years ago on a private contract for a man called Lafreniere. That seemed an unusual commission. I confess, curiosity got the better of me. Recently, I started to look into Lafreniere's background, and what I discovered. I wouldn't believe it. He's a Templar. Is that what you found? Yes. I, I believe so. I didn't know how to take it. In any case, I was careless, and the friend here I found out about my schemes. Kept me in the house arrest ever since. I do as he bids. Weapons, mostly. Where can I find him? Well, the friend here is a very difficult man to pin down. Not long ago. I overheard him talking about protecting the shipments at La Halle au Blais. It sounded ominous, whatever he meant. So I asked, why are you so interested in him? He killed someone very dear to me. I want to know why. I see. You have my sympathies. They will come looking for you again. Make yourself scarce. Yes, I believe I might. That piece of shit is playing him so bad. I mean, I'm sorry, but that's the Grandmaster. I'm just gonna say it. That's him. He he just saved him. Well, saved. It was under a ruse, but you know. And remember, the uh, letter to warn Monsieur de la Serre was signed by someone called L. Notice these details. It all paints a nice picture. Now, the Grandmaster here. Uh, Dommage, François Dommage, the, the Grandmaster, the, the guy who pretended to be this humble silversmith under their control, under house arrest, he is pointing Arno in the direction of Lafreniere because Lafreniere was actually sympathetic with um, Delacere, you see? So now Arno will kill Lafreniere and do Germain a service. That's how it is. <laughs> yeah, he's like, hey, you should kill this guy. Because, oh, that's, not, that's a dog. I, you can't pet the dogs in this game? 1 out of 10. 0 out of 10. But yeah, that's... That's what's going on with that guy. Gemma. 
Yeah, he is the ma he, he is the grandmaster. You saw his eyes. He's the sage. And it is universally true in this series that all sages are dicks. Like they are. All sages are wankers. <laughs> like seriously, they're all just wankers consistently. <laughs> it's funny. Ah, shit. I thought I missed that. Okay, good. By the way, I feel like the soundtrack's fucked again. Surprise, surprise. It's been happening a lot on this marathon, more than ever before that I've played this series for. So I'm going to reload the game in a bit. Probably take a quick break as well while I do that. Yeah, there's no way to jump on there, so I'll just do it this way. The soundtrack was there, though, but... Can I... How do I exit to the menu? Can you not exit to the menu? Oh, maybe not. In that case, whatever. Soundtrack problems will remain. If, if they want to remain. That's fine. I, I can't really reload the game, because that would mean closing the app, and that would close the stream. Not ideal. Okay. I'll take a break soon. Just Not just yet. I'll go for a bit longer, then maybe take a break, and then... Uh, wrap up the stream soon. Oh, pfft, I, I didn't mean to synchronize again. I meant to jump off. I'll just briefly change the title of the stream, because I'm, yeah, I, I tend to be obsessive and shit like this. Impulsive, you know, OCD shit. That's me. You'll get used to it. Yeah. At least I don't have to keep changing the category this time. That was a bit of a pain in the ass with the other games I've been streaming lately. Ugh. I hate it when that happens. At least this category is fixed and static. That saves some trouble. <clears throat> it's like when you start a game, streaming it, and... The category is just games plus demos, and then I have to manually put in that it's Infamous Second Son as a recent example or something. Or First Light. It's just like, why? Even Etsy, the Etsu trilogy did, did that. I wonder which outfit this is. Be Chase, be Chase, be Chase. Is it Chase? No, it's just money. Okay. A lot of money, which is good. Alright, um, going there. See? Fast travel, baby. Worth doing the sync points. Okay. The chat isn't that active, so... Yeah, I... I might even not... Because it's getting pretty late. I don't want to, like, be really loud and wake my family up when they're trying to sleep. So I'm going to probably... Yeah, go, go quiet and just play the rest of the stream with the mic off. Yeah, I can't, yeah, like, I'm not promising to always use my mic, I'm just, you know, try. I can't say I'm trying it out, because I've commented and shown my face before, I just don't like doing it. It's not really what I'm fully comfortable with, I guess, but I've been asked to commentate, and I'm like, okay, I don't mind doing it again, going back to that, at least for the next few games. 
and but then I might, I don't know, by the time we get to Origins or something, I might go back to not commentating because of my self-conscious bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that's just how I am, okay? hate my own voice, hate my face. I don't, I don't want you guys to see that, especially since these streams are being recorded. I don't want a face cam. I will hate it. Okay, Panther, gotcha. Another hour. Nice. I'm glad to have you for an hour or as long as you want to be here. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's great. I mean, I love that you've been here. You're always here as devoted as you are. I am very grateful All to right, you for that. You're, yeah. you're a star. Where are you really hiding? Are. If anyone deserves the VIP status, it is you. Like, you straight up. Seriously. So, Lafreniere's is hypothesized to be here. And yet, he totally isn't. It's never that easy, by the way. But this turns out to be a pretty cool mission all the same. I'll just say that. Jump to the right. Jump to that beam. You see what I mean? Why isn't he doing it? <laughs> Bleh. At least it didn't compromise my mission. Yet. And I do mean yet, guys. Because, you know, shit happens, right? If I jump down there, I might get caught. So what I'm going to do... Oh, he's moved. Good. Not far enough. What if I throw a cherry bomb? Move further away so I can assassinate your friend. Because I don't have double air assassination yet. I don't know if this will get me caught. No. Oof. Oh, that was close. Okay. Play it cool. Play it cool. You can see his dead body now, and... Dead? Hard. Dead! What was it? Dead! No, I need not get Shit! <laughs> oh nice, I still got the cover kill. Yes! <laughs> that is brilliant. That is... I totally planned that, you guys. That was my plan all along. Most of it, anyway. That's good. It's very good. I want to get some ammo. Because... How can you... Yeah. When will you never want ammo? I, I was hoping to get bullets, but fine. I'll take the smoke bombs. I don't like e using eagle vision, but it is so helpful at times. It really is. see them try and stop us. Let's go this way. Keep it low profile, if possible. Don't let that guy see me. He's going to see you because he didn't do what I wanted you to do. You see, Arnold just does his own thing. It's like, look at Panther's pinned comment. He does his own thing, and she knows it. Okay? It's not just me saying it. <laughs> what if I just sit here? Will they eventually forget about me? No, he, no, I wasn't. I was up here. And you aren't. you can't climb because you're not an assassin. Tough shit. Tough shit, dude. I'm moving up. Is it up here that I have to go? Yeah. Nice. Because I briefly remember at times where I have to go. Whatever he's planning, it's big. And now I know where to find you, Grandmaster. <laughs> he's the Grandmaster? You wish. You just saved him. It hardly seems weirdly. safe just to leave these lying around. It's like a big gunpowder plot, like Guy Fawkes. Improvising is what I do best, Arno. 
And you've planned to improvise, my friend. Not up there, my bad. Up is good, absolutely. It was rough, man. That whole, ordeal, that whole ordeal was so rough. But, you're alive. You're in one piece. That's what matters, man. Hide in plain sight. Hmm. Right. Still pretty badass, so who cares? I won't complain. Alright, let's just head straight there, no need to fast travel or anything. I believe this is where they're meeting, yeah. Cimetière de Saint Innocent, that's, that's the one. And no guys, I'm not tryharding the pronunciation, I promise. It's just, look, I just have a thing for languages, alright? And I'm not gonna hide from it. I'll be proud of it, alright? Might as well embrace it. Down the alley, that's it. They'll lose me down the alley, I promise. Sorry, buddy. What? Oh, chicken! Chicken! I want some chicken. I'm hungry, I want some chicken. Or some pork salami. No, oh, I got distracted by the food. Okay. Let's just kill them. They're level four! Nope. They're level four. Fuck that. <laughs> I shouldn't have got distracted by the chicken. It looked so tasty, I was hungry. I'm sorry. Alright, let's just hide. Blend. Blend. Play it cool. Act like you belong, and you will belong, right? Yeah, they'll, they'll never suspect a thing. Except these two guys running away from something. Have I lost them yet? I don't think so, because it's still got a yellow board on the map. Yep, lost them now. Alright, let's get up there and do this mission. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> Slippery. <laughs> yeah, after this mission, I think I'll take a quick break and then just fuck around until the end of the stream. I won't stream for too much longer because it's. I'm getting a little tired. It's getting kind of late here, so. Alright, let's do this. I remember this mission being pretty good as well. A lot of these missions were pretty cool. I will admit that. Another black box mission, as you can see. No unique kill or anything, but still good. You'll be reinforced before the master arrives. We'll post snipers on the roofs. The instructions right. are all here. Always get rid of the snipers first, guys. Always get rid of the snipers first. Always. Make sure you do that. In any infiltration mission like this, get rid of the snipers first. Them. The master's elite bodyguards? I think they can handle it. I suppose you're right. I'd better find myself a place to wait before the rest of them arrive. And prepare before doing so. Before they arrive. So yeah, this guy was actually, you know, um, one of Monsieur de la Serre's supporters and good friends in the Order. Actually, more sympathetic to the assassins, so it's a shame to kill him. I know he looks menacing, I know he looks bad. 
he has the the grandmaster you know grace about him but he's not i mean well i'm not saying grandmaster is bad either just because he's because of his role i mean hatham was top tier but yeah he looks like a baddie but he actually isn't that bad seems excessive it's deceiving dug in like ticks they'd best be dead by the time the master that smurf one went pretty badly fuck it just kill him who cares the mission technically isn't isn't started yet fuck you What's this? Assistance opportunity? I need to help these, like, who are these people? Grave diggers. What, they can help me later on? Maybe help me escape? Yeah, get distracted by the other guy. Fuck off. That's it. You came along at just the right time. I'll gather up the others. We'll hold position here. Cover your escape if you need it. I thought so. That would help with an escape if I go underground. That's cool. Oh shit. Die. Just fucking die. Oh yeah, sabotaging the alarm bells would be wise. Yeah. Oh hello content. Hello there. Salut, ça va? <laughs> Ça va bien? It's good to see you. I'm finally back on the Assassin's Creed, you know, marathon. Unity is the one we're doing now. Get more men up on those walls. Make sure those gates are locked. The master left specific instructions and they're to be followed to the letter. This shows exactly the... where Lafreniere will be. Oh shit, a sniper. It couldn't have made it easier if they'd tried. Okay, good. Got I got you now. I got what I needed, so at least I know the security plan. Yeah. Is that guy coming down or what? I'm waiting for him to come. Bruh. He's not coming. Snipers don't usually charge in. They always like to hang back. Which makes sense given their role, so. Yeah. Uh, I can't dual assassinate them from up high, so that's going to be a problem. Oh, he's moving? Never mind, not a problem. Sometimes waiting is key. Patience is a fucking virtue, right? Let's, yeah, here's the sniper. Could probably cover kill him. There we go. Nice. Smooth and efficient, just the way I like it. Is that a level 2 chest? Yeah, can't get it open. Because, yeah, haven't leveled up lockpicking that high yet. So, sabotage the bells. There's two left. And that's the patrol route. Very nice to know. I wish I could hide the bodies. Because it doesn't make sense to just leave all these bodies lying here. But, you know, whatever. Now, let's see, the patrol routes. I need to hide near a haystack where they really gather and where I'll have a chance to escape if things go badly. Here seems good. I could probably just really, like, get him while they circle around here. What? Well, the, the markers are gone. Okay, well, whatever. I've made up my mind. This is a good spot. And it's nice and discreet in the corner. Let's do it. I love it, it when the target comes to me. Leaves are blocking the hay bale. Oops. Guess they're here. I'll finish you quick if you ask nice. What the fuck is that? Calm down, guys. He's got quite the, you know, presence about him, doesn't he? No wonder he, no wonder Arno thought he was a grandmaster mistakenly. Truth is in peril, my brothers. She is beset on all quarters. 
Jacobin's lair on the rack, cruelly breaking her to their populist agenda. False prophets go among the people, promising liberty, equality, fraternity. Bastards! Within our own order, false prophets would see us abandon her and throw in with the very forces we strive against. And always, always the assassins lurk in their shadows. Watching for signs of weakness. Traitor! Our enemies believe that by taking our weapons, they take our power. I think the friends of the are not so easily dissuaded. Union! Strength! Virtue! Ready yourselves, brothers. Tonight, the truth is on our side. Get rid of those fucking snipers one by one. It's something I always do. I always just get rid of the snipers first. Oh shit. Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. Big no. All the nose. No, what? No, you wouldn't have seen that. Fuck off. No way, Mr. See-Through Balls. Alright, if I go around here, will you still see me? Probably not. Good. Good. That was a bit too close, huh? Flanked, you bitch. Eat a dick. I'm going to end up where I started, purposely of course, I'm just making sure the snipers are out of the picture, and then I'll take it from there. If I can, I'll try to assassinate some guards on the way. He's quite far away, unfortunately. Not quite where I'd want him to be. So maybe I didn't pick the best spot after all. I'll have to just, I'll have to just wait. You know? Jump! Assassinate! What the hell, Arno? Come on. That works too, I guess. No problem. What the... Who the fuck... Oh, screw you. Come here then. Come on. Come on. Come, let me kill you in a discreet location. Come on. You absolute turd. Why are you just standing back? Oh, you suck. And Lafreniere is actually getting close now. It's so typical. That is so fucking typical. Dude, really? Oh, balls. That is so bullshit. That is so fucking bullshit. Why did that go badly? That's so unfair. Alright, new plan. New What? I can't block. You can. How? Why not stay in there? Why do you have to come out again? Ugh. Right. That's not. That's not the plan. It's not the plan. I'm gonna fucking retreat and yeah, come back later. Make them think I've run away. <laughs> Force retreat. Oh, you can go suck a dick. With your fucking aimbot. When all else fails, you smoke bombs, guys. It works every time. Seriously. Smoke bombs are a pretty good plus tool, you see. Pretty good. No, come on.
Oh, nice. Oh, nice kick. Fuck off. What are you doing? Or right, hide. Just hide, he's coming back again. Hide. Now he's just sitting around with it with his thumb up his ass. Let's try this again and not fuck it up. I know we'll probably jump on another guy, I just know he will. Hold on. Alright, let's just go for it. Come on. There you go. I'm surprised he didn't just leave, but that's fine. That works for me. No problem. See, my plan did work. Tactical retreat. You don't trust the man, do you? Mirabeau is a good man. An honest man. Mirabeau is a self-aggrandizing drunk. <laughs> do not forget who is Grand Master here, Lafreniere. Take this to Grand Master de la Serre ah, immediately. Okay, I was wrong. Deliver it to him in I person. was half right yes, though, master. half wrong. No, he wasn't sympathizing with the assassins, but he did master, try to prevent de la Serre's murder. Has been feeding information to our enemies. We must so, I, I told you that part, didn't I? We'll have to move up our timetable. Gather the men. We strike Clotel de Beauvais tonight. Alright, that's a good lead, actually. See, Anna could have just stopped. <laughs> like, oh no, you tried to save Delacere. Nope, never mind, I'm locked in the animation. <laughs> I can't stop. Alright, now to leave this fucking shithole. I still can't believe I can't whistle. It feels so weird. Because every Assassin's Creed game has, like, a whistle function ever since... What was it, AC3? Yeah, and this one didn't have it. Syndicate had it. You know what? Fuck the other round. Let's just go. Let's just leave. I can just leave like this right now. It's just as well. Well, again, that could have gone much worse. Could have gone like the mission with Sivir. <laughs> that's like the... Dude, that's... That's the, um... That's the line that I draw. In fact, it's got... That goes way past the line. It shits on the line. It pisses on the line shits on it and then ejaculates on it for good measure <laughs> yeah let's not <laughs> the do you want oh perfect shot of him bullying of them to bullying this guy where's my goddamn money <laughs> yeah money fucking red dead voice there. oh is that another rift I'm getting attacked during the stupid transition. Shut up. So far. I'd like to give you a little boost. We've made a major breakthrough on <laughs> our side. Through deep data analysis, I'm in a fight. we discovered that the sage we're looking for was a Templar Grandmaster. <laughs> oh. The same man. <laughs> Look at his attacks, he's glitched. It doesn't get much better than that. There, everything's been updated. Great, Listen thank nicely. you. Thank we'll you so much. Touched. Fine. I've unlocked all those really good skills. I can't do this now because I'm in a fight. Please. Okay. What is going on? That fight was very poorly timed. I'll, I'll just say that. <laughs> uh, it's too much for that moment where I was fighting people and they were hitting me. Okay, it's just reloaded me. Fine. Great. I was going for that chest, but... Oh, it's suddenly daytime. So much is going on. So confusing. Alright. I want to get that chest because initiate chests so worth getting, as I've already explained. At least, well, at least she did me a favor. She got me out of that sting situation and she told me about the skills being available. So, yeah, I take that back. Sorry, Bishop. Thank you. All right. I take it back. It was just very poorly timed, all right? But yeah, now, after killing Lafreniere, you get loads of um, very good skills. It's like the, the it's like a, one of those, it's like a main point, you know, where you get all these awesome skills. Master Strikes. Yeah, with long weapons you trip them up, with the axe you just demolish them. With the sword, which is my preferred weapon in any game like this, you just, yeah, slash at them really heavily and do a lot of damage if it lands. Uh, ground executions are cool, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Assassin Cash is probably the most useful um, communal, what are they called, like, group abilities. There's only one you can use of those at the same time. Uh, what else did I get? The, uh, yeah, the roll recovery is nice. More lockpicking. Double air assassination, which is great as well. I'm thinking of getting roll recovery, but 
Yeah. More health. Can't grow all more health. I'll get that. More health, please. Do I have enough for the, uh, the sword mastery? Yes, I'm getting that. Because in this, in this game, my main weapons are swords and rifles. I always used to use those all the time. So, yeah. Cool. But those are some good skills to have. I'm happy with that. I'm going to go for roll recovery next, because that's cool. And then maybe double air assassination, because that's just a really badass skill to have. Might have to upgrade my weapons a bit more, because Arno's, uh, what's it called? Arno's French Rapier is not cutting it, really. Literally not cutting it, because it's not doing much fucking damage. Alright. Uh. Well, I don't have anything that's better right now, so that sucks. I mean, the Fleur de Lis is a really nice weapon. What about the rifles? Let me see. <laughs> the Iron Dragon is just a fucking badass blunderbuss. Solid long rifle, really nice weapon. Hunting rifle looks really cool as well. Not very practical though. Long rifle is more my thing. Yeah, I like it. Shame you can't use a bayonet on these. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, shame there's no bayonet, right? Like, I'd expect these to have a fucking bayonet. I think that's what they're missing, but I do love rifles. And shooting with these is, is nice. You don't have to pull out a pistol, you can just shoot with the rifle. Which is cool. It's cool. Very cool. Alright, I'll probably change that up a bit later. Um, for now, I'll just... Uh, I'm going to have a quick break. I need a quick uh, drink. Grab a drink. Check on the dog. Yeah, be back in a bit. See you in a bit, guys.
Hey, I'm back. Only took a few minutes. Yeah. <clears throat> Dog has already been let outside, so. I'm gonna be, uh, uh, wrapping up the stream. Just gonna fuck around for a bit. I've done enough story stuff. I mean, what sequence am I on? Like, five? Fucking six. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on sequence six already, in just one session. I've really stormed through it, so, yeah. I hate the Paris stories, though. I fucking hate them. I, I, I did not enjoy the Paris stories much at all, so I'm not really going to bother with them. Uh, they're just really stupid, like, typical bullshit filler side quests, especially in this fucking game. Dull. Dull as a butter knife. So, uh... Yeah, I, I, what I might do is the co-op missions. I might do those. Because, yeah, those can be quite fun. I'll do them on my own, though. <laughs> I'm going to try soloing them, probably around the end game, though. But, yeah. Yeah, I'm probably going to... Oh, what the fuck? I, what the hell did I just jump into? What the hell? I just want my chest, guys. Leave me alone. Stop. Leave me alone. I just want this chest. I didn't mean to cause shit for you. Anyway, yeah, I, um... What was I saying? Yeah, I'm probably going to do those co-op missions around the end game though, because, yeah, <laughs> they're uh, they're kind of hard, especially the later ones to do on your own, but I might give them a go, see how fun that can be. I want to loot this chest, please let me loot this chest. Finally. This might be Shay's outfit, this is probably the one. This is the one. Damn it! Where is this outfit? I have to Google its location, so I can just go to it and stop hoping. But the next one will have his outfit. What is that woman doing? You're gonna get hurt, lady. Then again, I can't kill civilians, so I guess you're fine. She's brave, isn't she? Look at that, see, heavy strike, finish him off. What the fuck was that aim box? Oh, Jesus. Okay, fuck this. Too many of them. Ow, what the hell? My back. Again, my back hurts. That hurts my back, dude. Fuck off. Alright, just quickly check on my stream manager. I didn't miss anything in the chat, did I? Nope. I don't think so. Alright. Yeah, chat was looking lively for a bit, but it sort of died down a bit. Uh, love seeing who turned up today. I mean, it was great to see Beth, uh, Frank. I mean, I, I only comment the ones who are on the chat. It's not like I stalk you guys in the, in the users and chat function. I don't do that unless I'm, like, really passive on the screen. And I'm like, oh, okay, let me just see who's in chat. And I don't like that feature anyway. It's a bit unreliable. It's a bit, it's a bit I don't know, weird. It's not very accurate. But yeah, um, really love seeing you guys. Weebubs, uh, Frank, Beth, uh, and the content you popped up recently just now. Panther. I mean, obviously, I, I saw you there, Panther. I can never forget you, but yeah. But yeah, I just want to express some, like, you know, special thanks to Panther. She's always got, like, the best attitude, and she's, like, quite the supporter, quite the avid supporter. I mean, she might not have cheered as much as, say, Jake and Beth, but, like, she's a beast. Panther, I mean, is a beast when it comes to, like, supporting my channel and being so devoted she she probably has like the best view time out of everyone i don't have stats for this i don't check this stuff i'm pretty clueless when it comes to shit like this but she also watches my share play we sometimes share play and i play on and she watches on her ps4 and i'm share playing like spider-man miles morales or something on the ps5 or kingdom come deliverance my hardcore mode playthrough and she's like so happy to like watch me play um, like, almost any time that we're both available. Because I also do my own other games, like, off-stream. Like, I'm doing Kingdom Come Deliverance Hardcore Mode, I'm... I just recently finished Spider-Man Miles Morales, uh, I was platinuming Infamous First Light, whenever I get a bit of time. Yeah, no, 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 you're not an honoured geek, you're a, you're, you're, you're an, you're a honourable rogue. You're, like, a true honourable rogue. Like, I have all my rogues, but you're amongst one of the most honourable. I'll just say that, Panther. Like, you you, you also earned that title alongside mine. So, I hope you feel honoured in that way, indeed. 
Because I, I definitely feel like you would deserve it. But yeah. But yeah, it's um, I'm, this is my way of showing gratitude. Because like you know, it's not like I take that shit lightly. Uh, the end of the year was insane. I was getting like an average viewership of of nine or ten at times. While playing like you know, um, Black Flag, uh, AC3 at times. Rogue was getting a lot of views. And yeah, for me, a lot is like ten. You know, I know it's. I know it's quite a gauge for the different people who expect a lot more, who are used to a lot more, like over a hundred or a thousand, or ten thousand, hundred thousand, lucky bastards. <laughs> but, yeah, for me, ten is like a lot. So if I see like ten viewers, I'm like, shit, that's a big deal. That's a big deal, man. That's a big fucking deal. And I really do think it is. When I see that number, like ten, yes, definitely. But, um... Yeah, like, I'm just really grateful, you know, and Kantha deserves a huge shout out, because she's like, she's been supporting me since day one, like, I don't, it's not like I'm gonna forget that, you know, she's been supporting me consistently, even when she, like, her situation could sometimes be delicate, or she was moving, or something, like, or she was busy, she was still always trying to make time to be there for my streams, like, a lot, and that means... A l again, it means a lot. It means everything, you know, because I've been streaming for a good few years. Uh, ever since I, <laughs> I think one of the first games I ever streamed was Fallout 4 on the PS4. That was, like, the, one of the first games I streamed ever. But yeah, um, I've been streaming for a long time, and I guess ever since I became an affiliate, I've been even more active and more avid with it. So, but yeah. Um, dude, why are you sitting here? The, the, the cage is open. Cell door is fucking open. Escape. The hell. Just go. The hell, dude. Ugh, what a moron. Worst prisoner ever. Or best, depending on how you see that. Isn't this where we trained? Yeah, this is it. This is where we trained. Cool. Um, but yeah, yeah, Panther. Huge shout outs to her. And I, I love, you know. I guess she gets the, the true VIP experience. Um. I mean, if someone was to ask, oh, can I watch you privately on SharePlay? Like, I would gladly oblige. And I guess I only do it for her, I suppose. But yeah, I guess she gets the true VIP treatment. And it's 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 great. It's nice. It's, it's I'm glad we can her and I can do that together. And yeah, we've been really great friends for a very, very long time. So there's that. For, for years. Yeah, even like before I even started streaming, so... Yeah, around the time like Syndicate came out, the next title that followed this one. But yeah, I'm just I'm no, don't mind me, Panther. I'm just reminiscing very nicely, because like I'm very grateful to how I always love your attitude. You always like compliment how I play, and those are the kind of comments I love to see. And yeah, and I'll just put this out there, guys. Like I do, the one thing you have to really keep in mind is that I will much prefer comments that are about the game or gameplay rather than just random stuff in general for example if you i don't know talk about the weather i'm like this isn't a weather forecast channel <laughs> but by all means fine but i just know that i'm not gonna be too fond of comments like those because i'd rather keep this channel about gaming just about the game you know i want to keep shit on topic this isn't like politics or anything but whatever like it's just how i want my channel to be I, that's how i want i used to always have it as a strict rule but i gave up on making that a rule because people never really followed it much so and i remember at the time panther was a moderator actually um and yeah it just got a bit frustrating when like yeah people wouldn't consider that rule it was right there in the chat rules or i would usually point it out but yeah people would comment and talk about anything but the game and I'm like oh okay fine so we sort of decided not to make it a strict rule because people weren't gonna follow it it was like resting against the ocean but whatever um that's it is what it is but you know um you can call me strict if you want to call me that that's your right if you want to talk about it's just that I'm not really a socialite you understand I'd rather keep it about the game and the gameplay and stuff that's how I want the stream to be and it's my channel so I have a right to 
state how I want it to be. How the fuck am I going to get up there? There's no way to go up there, so bear with me. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to try to visualize. How did him and I escape? Was it... It was down here, then we went left. Through this window. Yeah, it was through this window. Okay. Good. I just had to sort of remember. Okay. But yeah, um... Yeah, I was just having a bit of a vent there. Uh, I would prefer, if you guys don't mind, it would be great if... I mean, you don't have to comment at all, obviously. That's that's fine, you don't have to. But I would obviously certainly prefer it if comments were on topic with the gameplay or, or the game itself. That's how I want it to be. So, yeah, those are the comments I will always favour. And Panther, you know, and Bear... Uh, always comment about the game, usually. Frank as well. Um, or we talk about similar games in the series, that's fine too. Especially if I happen to like the game you want to bring up, that might be fine by me. Like, absolutely. But, yeah, I would definitely rather keep comments about... Yeah, it's like if you go into cinema to watch a film. Like, you know, you, you might say, Oh shit, look what happened there, what was that? You know, like, yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like that. But, um, yeah, I, I just... I'm just very passionate, like that's not a crime, I just want to keep things, I like to keep things relevant to what's being streamed, because I only stream games that I'm really passionate for, um, and that I really enjoy, that I really like to talk about, whether that's me on text or by talking on the mic or whatever, but yeah, alright, I've vented about that enough, uh, I'm going to keep going for another half hour, probably, and then I'll just wrap up, so. That's that viewpoint done. What's that initiate chest? I, I really want to see if I can eventually get Shay's outfit, please. Because I'm going to wear it. You bet I will. Oh, so I really want to wear it. Alright. Can I jump off here safely at all? Probably not. Um, yeah, there's no hay. So, probably not. Uh... Yeah, I think I just have to jump off there, where I, where I synced from, and then go around. Let's do that. <sighs> I needed that drink. It was parched. <sighs> I've made a lot of progress tonight. Didn't think I'd... Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> didn't, didn't think I'd get to sequence six. In just one session. I mean, you know, I've been streaming for nearly five hours. No crashes, fortunately, because crashes always ruin my day. I can't believe how much I crashed during AC Liberation. That was insane. I still remember that. You probably do as well, Panther. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I hope you don't mind, Panther. I kind of went off on one there. Really, like, buttering you the fuck up. I know, but, like, you deserve it. You really do, and, like, you know, I will appreciate your support to this channel so much. And I will never take shit for granted from anyone, quite frankly. Like, why would I? That's just rude. And, like I always say, it's better to be, um, a bit overly grateful rather than taking shit for granted, right? Let's go do those two sync points, then I'll have done the whole of the Northern Paris, and then I'll do... Because I think Southern Paris is really tough. That's Those are like much tougher districts. So I'd rather, yeah, I'd rather do Southern Paris afterwards. Just Northern Paris for now. God, I wish I could, um, really wish I could use the medieval set though. Oh, how cool that would be. Really wish I could. Because the medieval set is just, because I love Night to see and Templars and shit like that. I love that sort of set, and it's great for combat, so that would, that set really helps for combat, for sure. Let me just, um, change my gear, because I want to go back to the original look for now, because I miss it already. But yeah. Let's see. Uh, oh, Arno's dueling pistol, huh? Let's equip that. Shit, yes. Arno's French rapier. Alright. Let's go back to the original, because I really miss that look already. I, I just, I know it's not got good stats, but man, it looks good. It really does. 
I just want to use it for a bit, that's all. At least until the end of the stream. And then I'll put everything back afterwards for the next stream and then probably change up the look a bit more. Alright. Yeah. I love that set, though. It looks beautiful. Like, you would easily see me cosplaying that. I would love to do that. It's so fancy. Oh, shit. They're level 5. Nope. <laughs> nope. Level 5. Maybe next time, fellas. I have to avoid getting into fights while wearing the set, because I will just get raped. I will get violated. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, excuse me, I'm a bit sniffly. Yeah, I have been lately. Quite sniffly. It's just the hay fever thing. And it's another reason why I feel like I shouldn't have my mic on for streams. But, well, you guys asked for it, and you're gonna get it. At least for a bit, and at least for... I can't promise I'll do this for every stream, but... Yeah, I will do it when I can. Wait, how did I rank up? I didn't do anything, I just jumped. Elite Apprentice, I mean, that's... No, I don't want to do this. Please don't make me do this. Please, no. Fuck those things. Fuck those enigmas. Come on. Uh, he doesn't want to. Okay, go that way. Up there? Yeah, okay, that works. Come on. A bit more. Nearly there. Okay, which one of these is scalable then? That one, yeah. That, ma that makes actually makes sense. At least I'm getting all these fast travel points, you know? They'll come in pretty handy. Wait, can't I keep the sword out? No, he puts it away straight away. Why? Keep the sword out, it looks cool, man. Is that like he does like a really cool flourish and he puts it away. That sucks a bit. That's a lot of dead bodies, man. I didn't do that. Did I? No. I did not. I did not do that. Usually, dead bodies are wherever I go. But that was not me. Oh, out of the way. Out of the way. Out of the way. This is definitely the same point, nice and high. Oh, and guys, I mentioned Weebubs, and I will even bring up Siggy as well. Like, I have them on my server, and I'm in their servers as well. They're great mutuals to have. I recommend you. Check if you're watching this. I reckon, and you're, if you're hearing this, I recommend you check them out because they are like really cool streamers, really great people, really lovely people, and they stream some good shit. Really fun to watch, really nice to game. And so they're definitely worth your time. Check them out. Once again, great people. Like you would not regret supporting them. Trust me. I think I'll head back to the cafe or. At least in that district. Yeah, I feel like I need a breather from this game. 
yeah, it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's normal. I mean, okay, <laughs> when I was young, you know, I, I would never suffer from, like, burnout from games. I would just play for hours, like, no problem. But, like, as I've gotten older, it's like sometimes I, even though I, it doesn't affect my love for the games whatsoever, I get a bit of burnout these days. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm not old or anything, I'm just older. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I must admit, though, it feels nice to be using the PS4 again. I'll just say that, because I'm streaming these on the PS4. Um, the next few Assassin's Creed games will be on the PS4. I'll be using the PS5 for Assassin's Creed Origins when it's that game's turn. Uh, and yeah. Because I have to say, there are two games that, that I did not do in, in the last marathon I did. There were two games that I did not do in the marathon. And that was Origins and Valhalla. Um, yeah, I don't need to explain why I didn't do Valhalla. You guys know that already. I, please don't make me explain that. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't do Origins for my own subjective reasons with the game, okay? Like, I won't get into it, but... I had issues with that game. Subjective nitpicky ones, I'll admit, but yeah. Just a lot of things that I wasn't okay with, with how that game goes. One thing that I can objectively bring up, though, that, that, that should definitely merit being brought up, is the combat of Origins, like this game, not entirely to my liking. Um, I mean, yeah, like... Some of the animations are great and all, like with this game, and it can at times feel good, but not as consistently as I'd want it to. I did not like the combat in Origins at all. I, I mean, it's not that great. I'm sorry, it just isn't. Like I've played so many games, right? I'm, I'm quite the the veteran gamer, not to brag, but it's just fact, okay? And. These sorts of things I really pay attention to, especially with melee focused games. They're my kind of games, right? And, um, and yeah, it's like. So when it comes to how a game is in its combat or navigation or like its soundtracks or whatever, I'm gonna really pay attention to that. I'm gonna compare it to a lot of other games, especially if they're in the same franchise, right? Origins was not. did not like the combat in that one. It was. Okay, Assassin's Creed Odyssey improved everything that Origins did, and I loved Odyssey. Solid, like, like 8.5 out of 10, if I'm being honest. Like, like a fucking, pretty much like an A-tier game, right? S-tier is like, you know, 9 out of 10, 90, 95%. It's like very few games earn the S-tier, you know, rank, but, yeah. <sighs> um... Yeah, Odyssey's combat was so much better, like, everything was so much better in that game. Vastly improved, including the, the protagonist and everything. It's just, yeah. I didn't, I, I sort of left out the marathon last time. I, it's, it's definitely not one of my favourite AC games. But I, I will admit, objectively, it's a pretty good game. And, you know, overall, it is. And I wouldn't mind revisiting it. Because it has been a long time. So, for this second Assassin's Creed Marathon, I will be doing it properly and playing every game. I did do every game except two. I had every good reason you could think of to not do Valhalla, okay? And that's on Ubisoft, that's not on me. So whatever. But this time it's going to be done properly. Uh, I Yeah, I will do every game, including spin-offs. So yeah, and it's, it's fun. I love doing it. What can I say? So yeah, even if I don't get too many viewers, I, it's not the most important thing. You know, it's, it's cool. I do it for myself, not just for you guys. It's also for myself. Okay, I'm gonna head to the cafe. Is that free loot there? I'll take that. And is that PDA? Ah, cut it out. <laughs> yeah, I'm like the snoo snoo police. PDA police. Uh, go through that window, get that loot. I, yeah, there are too many chests in this game, by the way. There's, like, way too many chests. I remember on my very first, like, playthrough when I was platinum in this game. <laughs> oh, so many chests. It was a total chore. 
There are games that are fun to platinum, and then there's games like this. Like Ubisoft, what are they thinking with, with games like this? Oh my god, it's such a drag. You know? It's, it's a fucking drag. Oh, lovely. Got points for controlled descent. Nice. And like, you know, there's another example of a collectible. There's a fucking newspaper article here somewhere. Like, why would I want that? I I'm not even going to bother going to it. Why would I want to pick that up? It's not like, it's not like I'm going to fucking read it. Right? It's not like I'm going to fucking read the damn thing. Because I'm not. Alright. Let's collect the income. Even though it's not much, might as well get it. Because I'm not really going to do these missions. I don't care that much about money. Well, it is important, obviously, but I don't want to bother, like, d doing all of this on this playthrough. I just want to get through the game. I'm going to the training arena. I like this training thing. Let's do it. Let's let's have some practice. Here for a fight, monsieur. Come again. A training match, that is. An assassin can never be too well prepared. Isn't our mandate to work in the shadows? Stay undetected. Well, it doesn't always go to plan. Oh, the oh, no. Come on. Better to practice here in safety than pick a fight with ruffians in the streets. Of course. No? He's right. Touche. Absolutely touche. Ugh. <clears throat> Let's have some practice. I do like practice in these sorts of games in this way. Yeah, staggering strike. Let's do it. Because this move is pretty cool. It's pretty useful. It gives you a bit of an opening. It's nice and quick. You know? Just don't use it on the Brutes. Just don't use it on them, because they resist it, like, easily. Okay? Let's get to it. Okay, just spawn a guard. Okay. And if you do it twice, you can, like, floor them or something? Maybe not now, because it's a training thing, but... Yeah. But yeah, if you stagger strike someone twice, they fall on the ground. Oh, now there's two. Oh no, what am I going to do? Uh, dead man. Be patient. Did they not attack? Yeah, yeah, he fell on the ground, see? Bravissimo. Yeah, and then if you have the ground execution trick, then it's very useful because you can just stagger them on the ground and then execute them on the ground straight away, which I do not have. Ah, shit balls! That fucking quick draw, man. Well done. Keep practicing, and you'll be unstoppable. <laughs> Just vanished. There goes his grindstone too. Look at that grindstone. <laughs> it's like he just vanished. Man, this reminds me of um. The reason why I'm doing this is because it reminds me of Kingdom Come Deliverance. That training with Captain Bernard. It's so much fun. I do it all the time. Because, yeah, it's it's great fun, and it's, like you can never man. have too much practice. You really can't, especially in a game like that. It's all this. That, that's a lot of things to practice with. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Let's do strong attack. Yeah, I just recently learned this skill, you see. Oh, yes, I am. Yeah, you hold square and it, it's satisfying. You do like a big swing and it does a lot of damage. Bravo, bravissimo. You're gonna vanish again or spawn two more guards? Yep, spawn two more guards. Don't know why Arnold looks in that direction, but. Wow, that they have a lot of health. What? That's a lot of health you got. Blimey. Gonna have to use a lot of strong attacks to get through Excellent. that helpful. You have a knack for this. Oh, I know I do. Watch out for the other guys when they swing. I can't practice without music, dude. Where's my combat music? Okay. <laughs> I'm too big on music. Okay. I'm like Miles Morales. I love my tunes. That's a big way I can relate to that guy. So 
strong attack for the win. At least it's getting me through this health tree. Can I just keep spamming it? Yeah. He doesn't want to try to counter it. <laughs> okay, that works. Oh, he was no match for my constantly swipe at him attack. Until he dies. Well done. Keep practicing and you'll be unstoppable. Yeah. Anyway, I'll be finish yeah, I'll be wrapping this up. I mean this training thing is just a killer bit of time and just relax a bit, so like whatever. Because I, I don't want to get into the story if it's going to be towards the end of the stream. Because I don't want to do anything half assed. Shall we spar? Mm -hmm. I, uh, attack with square during a fight. You really think I don't know that? Let's do a couple more of these and then I'll finish off. I might as well use these, but the weapons I'm going to definitely use more. Is that a fucking pickaxe? Wow, a pickaxe. That's crazy. Bravo. Bravissimo. Bravissimo. Are you a Italiano? Sounds terrible. Oh, straight in there. With, see, with a heavy attack, like much one hit kill. Because the heavy weapon, yeah, heavy weapons usually focus on just raw damage. But yeah, they're, they're not really my style. I would gladly use any sort of weapon, it's just I prefer swords. And in this game, in particular, I like to use swords. Like it hurts a lot right in the dick, Arno. Jesus. Um, I would like. I prefer to use swords and rifles. Because the rifles are pretty cool. He keeps vanishing. God. How does he do that? Teach me the way. Why can't that be a tutorial mission? How do I fucking vanish before my enemy's eyes? God. <laughs> like, seriously. Teach me that move, dude. Your skills are improving nicely. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm getting through this list. Uh, long weapon. Alright, let's do one more. <sighs> After you. Moderate, die! Can I do a strong... I don't think I can do a strong attack with this, because I haven't learned it. This is a regular attack. You have a knack for this. Oh, I was about to do it there. I'll tell you this. What I really like is the staggering strike with a long weapon. It's really cool. You do this. You sort of like use the, the spear or holberd to spring yourself towards the enemy. And like a really cool strike out of momentum. It's really nice. Really nice. Really cool. Love it. Your turn, fuckface. Are there more? Or is that it? There's more. There's you, there's you. But like, I'm sorry, but spawning these enemies... Why can't I just practice with that guy? Like, what's he there for? He's there for me to practice with him, isn't he? My sparring partner? Like, where do these tricks come from? Huh? Where? <laughs> where do they come from? They, he's like, better to pick fights here than with ruffians on the street. Well, what do you think I'm doing? These are ruffians. That defeats the purpose. Oh. There you go. Get fucked. I mean, dude. After playing games like Sekiro and KCD, the combat in Assassin's Creed games feels fucking trivial. I mean, it's not that hard anyway, but... I mean, it depends on the game. In this game, it can be harder, mostly because of its overwhelming action when loads of enemies are around you, but yeah, when you've played games like Sekiro or Bloodborne and like K Kingdom Come Deliverance and games like that, or For Honor even, then it makes <laughs> this combat feel so damn easy. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, it's just the truth. Alright guys, I'm going to end it here. I think I've had enough unity for one night. 
it's been five hours, pretty long time. Uh, at least I got to see a few of you tonight. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys on Discord or on Twitter. Uh, and um, just a reminder, I do have a Discord and I made it uh, because it was Beth's idea and it was a very nice idea. Um, but I only invite people who like really strongly support the channel and I, I don't want to like have too many people in the server. I'd rather keep it like a bit more niche, a bit more of a closed community to not have it like too overwhelming. Um, that's just how I prefer to do it. Uh, and I don't think I'd be able to manage like a massive bunch of people anyway. And I would rather it be a bit more exclusive. Not as an elitist thing. It's not an elitist thing. It's just I'd rather be... I mean, <laughs> I'd rather be more careful about who I choose to be in such a server. Because it's, it's, it's my server, therefore my rules. So I have to decide who gets to be there. Um, that's why I don't have it publicly, you see. Just... <clears throat> that's why I don't have the link just there. But, yeah, um, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, it's just my preference. I mean, not everyone does things like that. I, I've been in a couple of servers where, yeah, people have said that exact same thing, where they'd rather have a certain couple of handfuls of people rather than loads. Uh, and I, I don't want to have just any rando in there. I want it to be exclusively for avid supporters of this channel or who are very close friends of mine, even. Uh, ideally, both. <laughs> but it's mostly because of people who support the channel so you know it's, it's just a nice little perk that you can a benefit that you can like reap from you know okay yeah um no problem panther i already flattered you enough for one night i guess i got carried away forgive me but you do deserve a lot of credit so it's not like i did it for no reason okay i will see you guys in the next stream i'll be continuing unity uh, of course i will um tomorrow um about the same time seven o'clock uh, yeah, uh, yeah, thanks guys. Until then, I will see you around. Take care, everyone. Until next time.